Heavy Wayne. <laughs> what if my computer could sense, like, how horrible the stream was getting and just booted this up on its own? <laughs> Heavy Wayne. I miss our poop tuber of the year. They should do an award show for that. Like a scatological award show. Oh! Like most sh taken in a year. What do you think your year end sh total is? I feel like the average person goes like once a day, right? The scatalog. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you read the title of the saved game? Suicide baby. It's the Suicide Squad baby version. Like baby Looney Tunes. And it's like the Joker and Harley Quinn and Diaper. Mr. J, I'm gonna make a big sticky in my diaper! Okay, Harley. <laughs> just let... Just let Daddy have... boot up a second second copy of the game now and then I, I I make a copy of myself and I'm playing oh and then I make another copy of myself and another copy of the game and then another copy of myself and another copy of my game my BGM still going oh. I'm so sorry does, is it just me or does this game completely reset all of its settings after, like, booting out of it. Like, it didn't save any of my sound settings. What the... It did! Why is it so loud? Why the fuck is it so loud? Is it doing that glitch that happens sometimes where, like, you set the sound setting and it reverts? Oh yeah, maybe it's my OBS too. Here, let me adjust. Sorry for the auditorial onslaught. It's too loud! Too rich for my blood. What's up with that salt burn movie that everybody's talking about? All I've heard about it is that it's very strange and there's a scene where a dude... ...drinks the bathtub water of a, a dude who took a bath in it and was jacking off in there. It's like a... <laughs> French noise... War crime. Uh, what? Yeah, that apparently happens in the movie. Unless I was thinking of a different one. That's why my friend wants me to watch it. Yeah, it seems like it's kind of like a... Like a shock and awe kind of thing. What movie again? It's called Saltburn. All I know is it's about rich people and at one point a guy drinks another guy's bath water. What the fuck are you watching? I'm not watching it! Other people were and they were describing it to me. The grave scene and bath scene were wild. I haven't heard about the grave scene, but I can only imagine. Wait, hold on. Let me turn on my light. I wasn't watching it, officer, I swear. No, no. I haven't watched any of the movie. I've just heard things described about it. Kind of spoiled myself on it. I missed the beginning of the game. Okay, I'll give you a crip. <laughs> Bro, I was gonna try to say I'll give you a quick recap and my brain just... My brain just smashed those two things together. Holy fuck, I actually sound like... <laughs> those videos of people who go to the dentist and wake up from fucking wisdom teeth surgery or something. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my brain is scrambled from being so nauseated all day. I'll give you a quirp. <laughs> Give you meanders after dentist. <laughs> I went to dentist. Oh, hey, Lumina. Um, 
Oh, quick. Everybody, I have to act natural. I have to have normal. Oh, God. I hope she didn't hear Easy. anything of the shit Just I was saying say before. Quickie instead. Or, I mean, the stuff. Wait. Wait. Have you brain? <laughs> Quip. I'll give you a crib. <laughs> For context, I'm feeling very ill today, and I my I can't fucking talk. I don't know. I think I actually have like a brain tumor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll be okay. This rain is so heavy. Help! Help! Yeah, I'm broken today. Are you inhaling in a bag? Would you drink gamer bath water a bag if it of was chips? fully boiled? Did you drink gamer bath yes. water until it was fully boiled? No? The boiling... Okay. Have you ever heard about how to prepare tea properly? Of course you haven't. Different bags of tea at different temperatures can taste wildly different. Like... The, heavy the temperature rain more like of the... heavy pain in my eyeballs. Are you okay? The temperature of the water when you're preparing the tea can affect it a lot. It can make it taste so bitter and so shitty if you just like one or two temperatures over. Why did they fix the goth? <laughs> By cutting off his balls? He was getting a little too rowdy. He was in heat. With all the other TTS voices. So of course it follows that gamer bathwater, the flavors, the complex flavor profiles would definitely be affected. This game creeps me the fuck out. Wait, why? Does it get scary? I feel like it's just a detective drama so far. Why is he... Guess I'm gonna have to find another way into this baby. Why... Why is he going in here? It's his baby now. <laughs> I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> oh! He's going in the back way. Whose house is this? this game when you were nine? Uh, Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles. <laughs> Anybody home? Hello? I'm just going to take this baby and take my leave. Hello, little cutie. Who? Oh, you looking for Ew. your mom? Don't make... <laughs> Why did he make that lip-smacking noise at it? <laughs> Wait, would this be a clue? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, no. Wait, is that why the title of this chapter is... Oh, no. Where is the mother? Oh, no. No. Mrs. Balls, are you Mrs. there? Mrs. Balls, please! He has to kick down the door! Oh, oh fuck. Oh god, shaking the controller is gonna make me sick. <laughs> fuck! Wait, let me see if I can just switch the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> oh, shit. No! She's taking a cran bath! It's cranberry juice. It helps with your skin. Mrs. Balls, can you hear me? Mrs. Balls. Wake up! Miss Balls! Wake up! Miss Balls, wake up! Oh, sh <laughs> she just dropped it. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> what the fuck?
那个。<笑>啊，那个。<笑> Wait, she's still alive. He just needs to do CPR. Oh God, put her down, put her down, bro, put her down. Oh God, it's so hard to walk with WASD. Uh. Okay, here we go. Here you go, ma'am. Why would she do such a thing? I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. <laughs> I'll be right back. Bro, she sounded like she was just talking to the McDonald's drive through person. Uh... Yeah, why does she sound so okay? Yeah, can I get a... a... The baby. What if he just takes the baby and leaves? No, I need to call 911, right? I'll call it with this faucet. Wait, why is he just washing his hands? What the f <laughs> The baby crying. Yeah, we're just gonna go up and bring her some saltines and some spray, and I, I think she'll be okay. Wait, fuck, what's this room? The camera angles in this are so tricky. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I need this. Yeah, and just. This. Is he really just and grabbing band aids? Oh my god. I'm helping! I'm helping you! Don't worry, stay still. Ah! I'm here for you, Susan. Oh no, if I fail You'll this, is she right. gonna die? I'll take care of you. R1. Ooh. <gasps> He's breaking her arm! Too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? What? You okay. The entire bathtub was filled with blood. My baby needs me. Right. What? You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay. He's gonna take care of the do baby. Do you know what to do? What I mean. With a baby, I mean. <laughs> I'm a private eye. <laughs> There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> uh, her name is Emily. Gotcha. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take it for a walk and give it a lot of tweets and... I'll make sure to brush it every day and I'll play fights with it every day. He's going to... He's gonna breastfeed the baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm a private eye, nothing, nothing really gets past me. He just lifts up his shirt and the baby latches on. Wait, why was there blood in there? What is all this? Was she eating spaghetti noodles? Damn, it must have been a really dark night for her. Wait, you think the baby did all this? The baby was having like a all-night bender with a bunch of beers and spaghetti? 
Bro, why is it so hard to walk around and uh, around the coffee table? For some reason, this QTE just does not work. The one next to the bottles. Yeah, maybe the baby attacked the mom while she was in bed. It just like crawls up there Rambo style with a, a knife in its mouth. That's so scary. <laughs> Babies can't actually do that, right? That baby looks guilty as fuck. I know. Something in that crib smelled strange. IDK why society says I should want a kid at 30 when it cries. It's way more fun to eat Del Taco at 4 a.m. Oh god. We, ha we had to eat Del Taco at 4 a.m. New Year's Eve night. Because we, we went out, we were starving, tired as fuck after like an eight hour stream. And oh my god, I need to get away from the crying baby. I I I <laughs> Ah nice No don't go back in you bitch <laughs> Okay we after the stream on New Year's we were so fucking tired and so hungry and it took us like a half an hour to find our Airbnb because they put the wrong dis directions on the thing. So we were like, okay, let's just go and get some fucking McDonald's. Because they're open right now. Might as well. It'll be fast and easy. We pull up to McDonald's. They have a line that goes all the way down the fucking street. And we're like, is it worth it to just like wait here for a fucking half an hour? And we decided, okay, let's just, let's just see. And the line started going faster and we're like, oh, maybe it won't be that long after all. Someone pulls up next to us, cuts in line in a fucking car. <sighs> And they roll down the windows and say, Yo, sorry, bro. We'll pay for you. And we were just like, Oh, shit. Okay. Like, all right. Maybe we'll trust in the, the kindness of a random human spirit, you know? So we're just like, Okay, let's just trust them. We waited in long for this long, so it's kind of like a sunk cause fallacy thing. Then the line gradually pulls up. Further and further, like 10 minutes later, we finally get to the drive through window and we're like, all right, what do we want? What do we want? Let's see. And the lady comes on over the intercom and says, oh, yeah, uh, we're doing cash only right now. Are you guys OK with that? And me and Ethel look at each other. We have no fucking cash. We never have cash. Never. So I was just like, well, shit. Now what do we do? Well, the people in front of us said they'd pay for us, but even if they were going to, would they be able to have enough cash to pay for both of us? Like, I don't know. Yeah, and who the fuck carries around cash in 2024 in America? It's like mostly card-based everywhere you go. But yeah, we just, uh, we waited in line for like a half an hour. And then finally, we're just like, okay, let's just fucking go. And then... We ordered from the taco and it took almost an hour to get there at like 4 a.m. And it was all right. <laughs> it was like, I don't know if it was because of the crushing weight of being cucked out of food like three times in a row. That was just like souring our palates. Or maybe the food really was just all right and kind of bleh. But holy fuck, that is the worst, most depressing feeling ever. Like being oh, so hungry and so tired, getting cocked out of food several times in a row. Oh. Tasted like defeat. Yes, it leaves a, a bitter taste in your mouth. I got a quesadilla and it was okay. I, di I didn't really like the cheese that they used in it. It was alright. That's when you get hangry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of goes past hangry at a certain point and you just become like dead inside. Like you cannot muster up the energy to feel anything. You just become an emotionless husk that needs to eat milky. Uh. Oh, hey, thank you, Dexter Mom. I'm glad you've been enjoying the IRL streams too. 
sorry about the crying baby. I don't really know what to do about it. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? You have to breastfeed her. Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Is he gonna change the diaper? No. No! Careful! This is like a boss. No, okay. I don't like how that baby is looking at him. How do you do this again? Hmm? It's scary. If I fail this, I get the bad end. Why? Oh, you're supposed to hold it. I... I hate this so much. <laughs> he just puts it back down. What? Bro, what does it... What? What? Huh? He's shaking it. What is he doing? There you go, fresh new baby. <laughs> that should feel better. <laughs> right, Emily? Quick, we have to put in the current sequence of button presses. Speed run the baby's hey, diaper segment. What's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Okay, we're gonna have to put the baby outside. That is classic French gaming. Oh yeah, you need your baby bottle. Where did I see that? Was it in the bathroom? What if he sees the bottle of milk and gets really, really thirsty? He, he turns into a thirsty, hungry, nummy boy. And he's like, Oh, mm, I can just get more for the baby later. Go, 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 go. I can see this guy with like no shirt on and just a diaper. I think it'd be a pretty fitting look. Of course. Now I know why you're crying, my little peachy poo. Uh, Susan, uh, I changed her diaper, but she's still crying. She's hungry. Bro, she's literally laying there There's bleeding out and in, dying. In the kitchen. Gotcha. Okay. In the kitchen. In the kitchen, right. I'm not gonna burn the entire place down. <laughs> it is okay. He's a detective who can solve all kinds of crimes, but can you solve why baby cry? <laughs> Let's find I guess out. I better warm this thing up. On the Bumbling Baby Detective. On the next episode of Bumbling Baby Detective. Oh no! I I entered a transmogrifying device and now I'm being my spirit is being switched into the body of the baby and the baby's spirit is being sent into my body. Let's give him his food. My recently married friend got the snip as him and his wife don't want kids. Now anytime someone asks him if he is having kids, he says, well, we are trying. <laughs> I always thought that was so weird when people would just casually ask, like, a couple if they're trying for kids. Or, like, when people announce that they're trying for a baby. <laughs> it's like, yeah! And Susan, we're, we're we're raw dogging every night. I could see this guy as a diaper guy. Also, first time chat. Hi, hi, first time chatter. He does look like he'd be a big baby, in kind of a malevolent way. He's got a darkness about him. I'm not sure what's up with that. Wait, I thought I gave the baby the bo baby bottle. I could have sworn I gave you your freaking ba baby bubble. Oh. I, I gave the robot the baby bottle. And my brain just filled in the blanks and was like, Alright, the baby's fine now. This is why I should never be a parent. Feed it the diaper. 
Oh, Emily, are you hungry? No, is there huh? going to be a bottle feeding QZE? No, no. <laughs> I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit. So no. You don't Imagine if they switched places. Why is he shaking it so much? Is he trying to make a baby milkshake? Uh, baby diaper. Oh, I have to burp the baby. Okay, I need to time the button presses in rapid succession. Perfect. Frame oh, perfect. Good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? Baby not burpy no more. Now. <laughs> I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna rock you. <laughs> he just pretends the baby is a guitar. <laughs> Wow, maybe this guy has kind of got mommy energy. Maybe this guy's a dummy mommy. <laughs> Throw the baby in the hole. <laughs> it's being chill now. It's being peaceful. He might have been goth in high school. Yeah, he's got that kind of feeling about him. He just seems like he'd be a little off kilter. Maybe he used to hang out under the underpass after school. Why is he doing kind of a sexy dance? Look at... He's like doing like... Look at the look over the shoulder. That's crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> he looks like he's doing like a... A model walk. He's looking back at you. Even in a side eye. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Holy shit! The cunt detective. Investigating. Cunt. Great. Now I'm imagining him playing the baby like an actual guitar, getting really into it, and then <laughs> smashing it against the crib. <laughs> Funny, don't laugh. That's not there's nothing funny about that. 99 Emily. Whoa, 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 stop why are you looking after my baby? I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Bro, your baby could have died without someone here to take care of it. Just not having Jeremy around. Oh, shit. He was such a good boy. Can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Is he another victim of the origami killer? Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. Oh, no. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. It was I you. understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... Maybe he went to Adventureland. Th there was just the cell phone. A cell phone? <gasps> oh, like the... Like yeah, I, the, I found the, the cell phone. Ethan in his got in his package. I'm sure it wasn't his. Ethan. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. I also cannot take it? the name Jeremy seriously. Yeah, it's, um... Uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. 
You can have it if you'd like. Can I'm I sure have your it's baby more too? Use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. So she's, and she's just gonna leave her baby there to die slowly and rot? You know what? You know what you need, girl? You need a makeover! Let's go! Let's go do some retail therapy, queen! Let's go! Yes! I'll fix you right up. I think she needs some new nails, some new hair. And just sleep it off. Bro, she was almost bleeding out. He just smacked a band-aid on that thing. You need to shop till you drop, and I don't mean drop dad. Wait, can he just take the baby? Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mama. What? It's going to die! Alright, whatever. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the house in the most awkward way possible. Wait, what's this? Oh yeah, the thing I need to get, the cell phone. Isn't he a detective? I feel like he should keep more tabs on this lady. <laughs> He's a very bad detective. <laughs> He's naughty. Wakes up on the phone and he's like, Oh sweet, this thing has it's got snake on it, the snake game. Just completely forgets about the crucial evidence. Oh yeah, I love the detective guy with the alternate reality glasses. In his little mind palace. Ah, sorry. Why does this game take so long to love? Yeah, it's strange this game seems like it's supposed to take place in the future, but all the cars are very old in style. It's loading the melancholy. <laughs> yeah, and all the heavy rain. At least 30 gigabytes of heavy rain. Is he wearing a fucking gorilla suit? Why does that look like a gorilla suit for Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> hey! Oh! Ha! Huh. Sorry. Didn't see you. Do you think car mechanics uh, ever get, for? like, really bored and lonely and use those, like, sliding things? <laughs> like... All right, bro, slide under me and I'm going to piss in your mouth. <laughs> they call it the monkey wrench. I'd like to get my car. Okay, I'm going to climb up into the chassis of the car and you have to wheel under me and I'll pretend I'm the car and I'm leaking oil on you. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. Two years? We took it out for a drive every month and check the tires and batteries, just like you said. <laughs> Here, it's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. He said garage. Thanks. Ah, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Yeah, I have no idea what he just said. 
I think he just told me the directions of finding the, the lost tomb of King Tut. Uh, just kidding. I don't want to go outside. It's raining too hard. Have I been here before? Don't remember it. Oh yeah, here's a quick summary for someone who missed the first part of this game. This guy lost his son, like literally lost his son in a crowd years ago. And uh, it, the kid got hit by a car. But it was weird because he like dove in front of the car to protect his son and he took the brunt force of the collision, but his son still died. And I'm not really sure how that worked, but yeah, maybe his son just like... I don't know, turned into... It got liquefied. Just turned into sun jelly. Cause he's a weak child. And then years later, he got a divorce with his wife, and he has his other son, who he doesn't love as much as the dead son, and... He took him out to the park one day, and this guy... Another fun fact about him is that he randomly has, like, schizo delusion dreams. Where he just ends up wandering off in a fugue state somewhere, and he keeps finding the, these little, like, origami papers. And he had this while he was waiting for his son at the park, and he woke up from it, and came back, and his son was long gone. Because it's already nighttime, hours and hours have passed, and his son is still missing. And he's still having weird delusion dream things happen to him. Oral Gami. <laughs> yeah, he's a very proud father. What is this camera angle? Yeah, he's a very sad, pathetic, pathetic man. But I feel like life is gonna start turning around for him. He's gonna find his son. Wait, where was the car you wanted me to... <laughs> is it this? No! Oh, the elevator. Elevator, elevator. at the back of the garage. Third floor. Got Third it. floor. Back of the garage. <gasps> oh! Elevator. This game is from the brown era, because I think it was a PlayStation 3 game, and that is like the quintessential brown era console. Yeah, everything just has a tinge of murkiness to it. Brown and gray. Metal Gear Solid 4 was pretty brown and gray too. Strange how stuff like that catches on and starts a trend in, in games. This is just like what I had to do on New Year's. Oh, it's over here. I see it. Wait, it's this way. Yeah, near uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, Gears of War. Gongaga. Oh, this is a pretty nice ride. That game's gonna probably simulate the way colored light bounce off of objects, so they just made everything basically colorless. Oh, is that why? It's like when a limitation breeds some kind of innovation or a style. Um, I don't know how to drive. Did you find the card or, or did Ethel find it first? Wait, why? Was there like a a pole that people were gambling on i got to the car and i got in the car and then he came up no the stream dropped oh oh that's right yeah the signal was so bad in there it was honestly so weird that entire day we had never had that many problems with the the backpack before it wasn't even a Your signal problem either. Because the signal there was great. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. 
It was just some kind of issue with the modem or the software, I'm assuming. Real. Yeah, I was so worried the entire time that it would go down during the countdown. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody and their grandmother was online and on their phones. Take the left at the next I don't know, we... We went to AX and it was fine. With even right. more people Take in a really small exit. place. Yeah, it was still a really fun stream. I'm so thankful that... It didn't get ruined by the internet problems. Oh no! Why is he driving in this heavy rain? This part of the game is kind of keen out. Okay. Well, my Wi-Fi fucking dies every listening? time I use my microwave. Are you ready to show what your kind of microwave do you have? Is it like carefully. United States military contraband? Drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination um, in five minutes, you will have failed. What? Oh no. I don't want to die. Not here. I Not can't like get him this. killed during this, can I? Like for real? I can't stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. No. I'm I'm not gonna no. make it. Don't say that! Ethan! You have to if have If I hope. succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangman. It's my only lead. No turning back now. Yes. We can do it. I can do it. I'd yes. do anything to save my son. Can do it for Sean. I've got to do it for Sean's sake. Yes. I have no choice. We're all going to make it. We will never die. Come on. Come on, Ethan. Pump it, Ethan. Punch the keys for God's sake! Come on! Ah! Ah, to... oh. Holy shit! Ah! 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 Come on, Ethan! Power it! Power through it! Power through it! Sean! He's drifting! <laughs> Running in the nineties! Holy shit! You still have four miles to go before you reach your destination. <gasps> play it cool, play it cool, Ethan! Get out the way! Get out the way, bitch! Oh, come on! Push it! Floor it! Oh god! Oh god, I'm gonna kill an innocent person! Holy shit! Three miles to go before you reach your Three miles! Three miles! This is gonna be a Russian dash cam video! You still have two miles to go before you reach your We will not fail! We can't! It is not possible! Come on! Move out the goddamn way! What the Move fuck was way. I supposed Come to on. do?!
The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. Why isn't the key it? Is inside the GPS. Why isn't it working? Your reward is what? in the glove compartment. Ah, that the hurts. Key is inside Bad the teeth are flooding my mouth. Your reward you is in the glove compartment. Do it first, Sean. The key Sean! is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. <laughs> that car too. Holy shit, that's gotta hurt. It's Tesla. <laughs> Those fires are gonna be burning for weeks. That battery burns bright. I'll tell you what. Hmm. Wait, I got an achievement that says good driver. I completed the bear trial successfully. The bear origami. Fuck that kid, just go home and forget him, play some Fortnite? Could you really sit down and play Fortnite in good conscience while your son is slowly drowning in the rain? Yeah, yep, yes. I mean, I guess there's a new season out, so... Ah, I don't know. Is this the lady who had the weird dream where she was being killed and had her throat slit by random burglars? She looks like she means all business. Ooh. The atmosphere here is one of concern as there is still no news of 10 year old Sean Mars. Sean Mars, I forgot their last name was Mars. A recent report indicates that the police uh, are now ding, ding. This as another kidnapping by the origami killer. Origami. Oh, you can tell he just let one off in there. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? <laughs> Is that David Cage? For you? Anything. <laughs> Feeling the register. Feel it in. Uh, okay. Please put down a fake name. What's he chewing on? Madison Page 27. Single. Single. 
How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. <laughs> Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. You know what? I think he's just a weird, friendly guy. Thanks. He just seems the a little goofy. Was all mine. That's for sure. He wants to sniff the seat that she sits on so bad. Creeper looks like Seth MacFarlane at home. <laughs> so like Seth MacFarlane? Stairs on the right, you know last what? floor. Hey, it's me, Madison again. I was just thinking, uh, do you want to go out and play, play with coffee sometime? Like dip our fingers into coffee and wipe it on each other. <laughs> wait, no. Wait, you don't think Madison deserves to explore love for herself? What about Madison's feelings, huh? Yeah, I'm, sh I'm shipping them. What about it, huh? You, you want to fucking fight about it? You want to get into a flame war? Uh, no you don't. Not with me. Uh, excuse me. I have to make it back to my room. What? What's her room number again? Yeah, you guys are antis. Why are you guys a bunch of antis? That dude 100% his cameras in the rooms. Like in the toilet. Especially. That would be kind of the optimal place to put one. You just pass the stairs? Can I go up here too though? I go up here too. What the fuck? Is the camera slowly zooming in on the room that I'm supposed to go to? Because it knows that I'm a fucking dumbass who has no idea where I'm going. 201. You want to go to 201. The game is hypnotizing me into being smart. Oh. Oh no, I'm getting cook a cold. I really can't wait to go back to my dirty, scary motel room. Oh. Take a shower and then walk Sir? around in my bra and underwear. Are you all right? Wait. He's bleeding. I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. I'm I'm RPing as her right now. I don't know who You're he is. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Who is this guy? Please just help me to my room. He looks like a really bad father. It's number two zero seven. He looks like David called me and was addicted to heroin. <sighs> what? He looks like his name is Ethan. Ugh. What a, a great pickup technique. Yeah, it's like those insurance scams where you jump out in front of someone's car and act like you got seriously hurt. What the fuck? Why is he grunting like that? He was pretty much a married man. What is he doing? Literally fucking dying. You're is really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Fateful meeting. I must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. Damn it! His room is two hundred. But it's sore as hell. Is two hundred one. Why are they so far apart? They're gonna have to have a long distance relationship. It looks deep. Oh, oh. Sean! Bro, stop grunting in her bed. It's basically sexual harassment. It would be a pretty good way to pick up people. By just like pretending you've been horrifically maimed in the street and then they pick you up in their car and take you to the Humane Society. Hmm. What medicine should he have? Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Let's kill him. I think 
Painkiller would be best, right? Necofrin 100 antibiotics, administered to combat infection. I don't think he's combating anything except for his inner demons. Paraphenol anti-fever, administer only in cases of high fever. Mmm, <laughs> looks yummy. I should disinfect his cuts. Yeah, 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 you should, you should, you should. And use the, uh, painkiller. Yeah, 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 let's disinfect you. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. I don't think he can take all of that, can he? <sighs> it won't let me do this QTE. Why won't it let me on controller? This port is so fucked. God damn, look at that nasty ass toilet. There. I wouldn't touch that at with your ass, infected. Nirvar. <laughs> Thanks. A true king has his court jester come and sit on the toilet for him so he can shit between the jester's legs. That's actually where the the term nutmegging came from in uh, soccer, which Ito told me about. It's supposed to be a reference to those olden times, because soccer originated in Europe. In European countries, kings would often have a, a shit jester. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not Sounds take more really than one gay. pill every 24 hours. Most things throughout history are. Get used to it. Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. What if it's a leap year? I can't afford to wait. <laughs> what if it was New Year's and you had it and you were like, I haven't had I any of these pills for since a few days if last I were you. year. And had right. another one and then I'm died. Take a shower. No. Right. Let me help you. I got a bad feeling. Dude, about I only this. go to hotels where they keep hardcore painkillers complimentary. Yeah, what is it with this game and having hotels fully stocked with meds? I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Why is this tag Dream SMP? Because uh, I'm in the Dream SMP. Uh, I'm a I'm a slime cube named Slimer. Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Talk to me. Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep oh, you're in gonna motels. Make him pass Don't ask out. me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm I'm just Ethan, passing through. Ethan, we need to sniff your underwear to make sure you're not going to pass out. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. Why is she looking at him? I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? What? I. I'm an architect. An architect, huh? Why don't you build me a house then? Wait, does she need to get his clothes out of the closet? Or a robe or something? No, don't look in there. There's a n n n naked man. Oh, he has clothes. Thanks for staying. It was a pretty quick I shower. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. Why is she acting all sheepish now? By the way, you never told me your name. She likes him? Ethan. What is it that drew careful, her to Ethan. him? I'm having a like huge gash on his head? Or his grunting? Yeah, the grunting. 
Maybe it's the khaki pants and gray sweatshirt combo. Yeah, does she like men in pain? Does she like it when men are experiencing pain and distress? Does she like it when men don't have a mini fridge in their man cave? <gasps> Wait, no! Is this just water? Okay, it's just water. Do you think there used to be the mental elf mechanic in this game? But they took it out for some reason? Or maybe is there like an invisible mental elf quotient now? Depending on your choices? There is no mental elf in plants. Ew, he's gonna pee right after taking a shower. Should've just consolidated. Should've just take a pee in there. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not gonna flush it. And then when Madison comes over again, she's gonna see what I did in there. Be kind of impressed. Wow, oh, it has such a rich yellow color. He drinks primarily soda pop. Oh, what's the next? Origami. Origami. Origum gum. Are you prepared to stop, save your song? Old power plant on Bardo Street. Are you prepared to suffer your son? Suffer the weight of your gargantuan son? My son grew way too big! This is what has become of him. Oh, oh. Graphic scene coming up? What do you mean? G -g 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 Graphic? In what kind of way? Like violence? If it's something too gory, I yeah, might Yeah, they even puke. put some supernatural stuff in the game at first, then remembered the last game and were like, never mind. <laughs> Fuck. I would really be interested to see what David Cage would be like just completely off the rails. Without game development companies like reeling him in a little bit. There needs to be a David Cage Hideo Kojima collaboration. Was that the first time? Sorry? What? First time you killed somebody. Oh, I thought he was giving him road hat in there. It always does something to you the first time. Then you get used to it. Aggressive, defensive, or sincere? Let's be sincere for once in our lives. I'm not sure I want to get used to it. That's him. No, oh, are we tailing someone? It's Here's very Laporta. important that we fail these problems. Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Is it like doing the opposite is better? It's like a trick question? Is that what? Uh, ah! Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. <laughs> Stop that guy! <laughs> Hey man, Wait, I know what you mean though. <laughs> oh my god. This is even more beautiful in HD. <laughs> with as many oh. people as he oh. possibly can. He just knocked that over on purpose. Oh. <laughs> what about my tomatoes? Did it just fucking freeze? <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on, I got you. <laughs> Music, uh, like that, and then... <laughs> Oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm really sorry.
sorry. <laughs> I guess I lost them, boss. <laughs> we'll get them next time. <laughs> Tony, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for gifting those subs. Thank you. <laughs> Every time I see the measurement of the rain on the screen, I think it's like... <laughs> the measurement of the dick of the character that's showing on screen. <laughs> it's like they're joking progress. Mm. Yeah, instead of the mental elf mechanic, there is the penis mechanic. I just imagine, like, instead of a call mechanic, a penis mechanic, and they have to tune up a wiener with a monkey wench. Ooh. What kinds of things do you keep in your drawer? A gun, huh? Makes sense. You are a detective, aren't you? You're a bad detective. Yeah, you can kind of change the mood of this entire game. <laughs> I like... Here. <laughs> yeah, let me type that into my type... Typewriter. Royalty free mischief music. <laughs> this fucking music that's in every YouTube video. <laughs> Episode of Great British Bake Off. <laughs> yes, sir. Get off. Huh? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing as this man? I don't understand him. I don't understand his vibe. Mr. Bean sneaking across the place that he Getting them to some mischief, you know? <laughs> oh, bro! And all Oblivion NPC music? Who even hired this bumbling guy? Is he really the right man for this job, for this case? He just kind of looks like... He has like gentle xylophone and tuba music playing in his, his like in his inner head at all times. His inner head. <laughs> I could have just said mind. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I don't know. He just looks like a little too 
happy. Right, if this is, this is a British bake show, I'll offer up this, this recipe to bake these nuts. <laughs> Why did he sound so proud of that? <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Who's here? Who's ringing me at this hour? Let the TTS stutter? I don't know, it makes it so good though. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Oh, it's this lady. Can I come in? Her son is missing right now. Sure. A g g g girl in his apartment? Um. Uh, why don't Let you take, take your coat, coat off? I'll take your socks too. They must be really wet. Please take a seat. I gotta offer her a drink, too. I have to be a good host. You want a glass of water, Diet Coke? Wait, can I not talk to her anymore? I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh no, we're gonna get the nightmare mode bad ending. Everything's over. Alright, let me just take my... My little chair. I just uh, remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw it him. It's like she can't fully close and her mouth. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? You remember anything else about the letter? God, he looks like he'd go to a buffet well, I don't know why, or like but Thanksgiving I the dinner and just happily pat his belly when he's done eating. Maybe jiggle it a little. Hmm. Ellen Winter. No sender. Hmm. What is this postage? It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Yeah, he has to unbutton his pants a bit and just let it hang out. Oh, uh, not particular. He would get a little mustard Except stain on his shirt. The yeah. The address? And maybe, like, it in the corner of his mouth? Writer. Could be a lead, you never know. He would fall asleep on the couch watching football after eating a big well, thanks ass for your help, Lord. Thanksgiving I'll meal. Let you know if it leads to Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you what? in your investigation. That's too dangerous. Let's be diplomatic. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you... She's going I'm to help catch all the flies around him. It's all or nothing. By just walking around like... Uh... It's dangerous, Lauren. Listen, you an don't investigation understand. investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues yeah. have you got, Mr. Sheldon? This envelope. Maybe your only link to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, no, Mr. No, come Shelley. back, Tommy was though. Wait. Please. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. Is he hitting on her? I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who I killed could her son. I could be your new son. Are Forget about him, Lauren. I'll be your big goo goo ga, -ga baby. Ivan, I'll look the part. I'll dress the part. We're partners. Oh, it begins. What if they f f f fall in love? Oh shit! I forgot to turn the music off, so now it's really quiet. <laughs> no wonder why that was so awkward. Holy shit! Huh? This is feeling too much like the the boys sex night party. If someone starts having sex with a squid, I'm out. <laughs> what? What the fuck well, happens in that show? Everything I hear, hear about it is about. completely in, uh, unhinged. I can't talk. Oh, you're my kind of guy. I'm like a I one on the talking like scale today. <laughs> my friend. Maybe this job does have a start. 
now I got me a new friend. Is he gonna like princess carry him to bed? Yeah, this is me and and Abel on that boat talking all to the, <laughs> talking to all them drunk old people. <laughs> Are you okay? You okay? I really don't like this place. Did you find out anything? Oh, look at her belt buckle. It says cool on it. Cordy's a hard man to meet. That must mean she's really cool. Well, I'm going back in. Hey, you want to do some edibles? I like your costume. Oh, where, where Gordy? Where Gordy? Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where Gordon! he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out. Quarter way, Roy. Oh, really? <laughs> Bro, that guy was so then? blasted. He Why probably thought he was talking him? to ghosts. I saw him going upstairs a while ago. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. What if they let me up? What if I tell them that I'm I'm his friend? Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. I'm an old friend Gordy from high school. Beat it. And he starts jacking off in front of the two security guards and they're like, alright, you can come in. <laughs> Look. Why? You told me Scott to beat it. Me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. <laughs> see, he asked again. Well, I mean, if he's gonna get mad, he better start beating it. I see Gordy I'm gonna have to go about it some other oh way. no, I gotta beat off, or I'm gonna be in trouble. Man, I don't care anymore. I'm not even gonna bother talking to you guys. This is bullies. Cutting the toxic people out of my life. Lowen. Lo Lowen. So, did you find Gordy? He's upstairs. But he's got two goons blocking the way. See, they're goons. No wonder why they told him to beat it. Do you want me to handle them? Yes. 
Hey, what are you gonna do? She's gonna I'll, seduce I'll them. High heels. No, leave bro. Me. Just Trust her. Go as soon as they leave the stairs. Okay. What if she just keeps talking like that the entire game? <laughs> Wait, Lord. What the fuck? What is... This is embarrassing. What is she doing? What if she starts doing the worm on them? And they're like, oh, fuck yeah. I love it when she does the worm. Oh. That lady got in the way. She, she, she ruined the vibe. Wait, that was her end goal. She's pretending to have passed out and needing uh, medical attention. What the fuck? What an upset. Oh, wait, I'm uh, in control of my character. Wait, there's still... Miss. Miss, are you all right? <laughs> wait, I can't, I can't get back. Hey, wake up. <laughs> Shit. Another one's gonna OD on the dance floor. Hurry, call the ambulance! Do you think she's gonna, like, kiss him? Oh, shit. The plan on a banger. We gotta get her out of here. Oh! I made it! Yeah, she OD'd on dancing and fun. Oh shit. She's gone. It looks like there's a fight going on downstairs. Somewhere. Some of the noises in the song sound like what you'd hear if you got trapped in the belly of a really large animal. Just like the gurgling noises of all the stomach acid fully digesting you. Maybe like a bubble going up the uh, esophagus. Locked. I'm gonna have to go through the window. Shit. That's how I feel about dubstep. Yeah, dubstep kind of sounds like fart music. Not in a good way either. Yeah. <laughs> He's not in the study. Where could he be? It would be pretty cool to be trapped in the belly of a whale. Not for too long, though. Oh God, not the rain! No! It's too heavy! The rain is too heavy! I'm not strong enough. I can't do it. Oh wait, maybe it's uh, this door. Oh shit, what is going on in here? Okay, Ban Bao. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Is he watching cartoons? This is the best part. And there's two girls making out on his couch? <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. This is I'm Kramer. investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is the best part. I swear to God, if this bumbling detective ruins this episode for him, what if he has to I'd act like, like to a mom exactly and goes off and unplugs the Joseph TV? Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! Everyone's telling him to beat off. Dagotha looks like David Cage self inserted himself into the what game. Very relatable. <laughs> Are you saying he's the guy laughing at cartoons? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version. <laughs> 
is he saying that Kid while mid yawn? I just what offered to drive him home. <laughs> the police arrived. I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Right. Maybe we should be a little skeptical. I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. This guy is a total crap, pervert. Yeah. He has the circular be bed. He's really. watching cartoons. He's got like zebra print on the walls. He is far gone. Very well. And he has a penis statue. I'm the origami killer. <laughs> I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. <laughs> I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. <laughs> Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? <laughs> This interview is over. I like to do it. Get rid of this clown! Because it makes me giggle. It makes me experience joy. <laughs> is he LARPing as the Aura Gourmet case? Aura Gourmet? Ormy Gourmet Killer? <laughs> what is this place saying? I'm scared! <laughs> Oh! Yeah! Circle! Watch this, origami killer! I'm gonna twist your foot off! I'm gonna make your foot backwards! You have to walk backwards forever! For the rest of your life! Every character pronounces origami wrong. There's been like 10 different variations. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. I don't think the origami you know killer would is? admit to that so readily. He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. What? You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Why do you say that, Mr. Origami? Oh, sweet. The new episode of My Little Pony is on. French cartoons are even more <laughs> distressing than just normal cartoons. <laughs> I I defeated Gordy's bodyguards. I'm a tough guy. I just got an achievement for that. <laughs> I know, I know. You guys don't have to be jealous and resentful. Mm, what is Pinkie Pie up to? Probably having a party! And blowing a lot of balloons! Balloons! Mm. <laughs> the power plant is where the clue told us to meet. How is this going to get me closer to finding my son? Oh, it's getting kind of chilly out here. I guess I'll go in. Oh, shit. Well, that's awkward. Maybe I have to climb up somewhere. Maybe uh, this part where the wall is destroyed and I can very easily walk over. Oh, it looks like you can climb up there all the way up. I just can't do anything right. My son killed by a car. I lose my other son. I lose my wife. 
Can't even shoot a basketball. I'm useless! I'm so fucking impotent! I need to buy a Funko Pop! I need to start buying Funko Pops now! I need to go watch Hamilton the Musical! Oh. What are the police gonna do, huh? They find him trespassing in here. He's looking for his... his lost son. He's a noble man. Shunko Pop. This reminds me of the level in Bully where you go into the insane asylum and it's really, really creepy. Oh god. Please be open. It's locked. What if I can break through the window? What about that? You didn't think about that, did you? Ethan. Ethan, come on. Is there no glass? Uh, okay. Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. I need to get a clue. The origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. Oh, there's so, that dumpster with a butterfly on it. Butterfly? Yes! You're looking for this! What if there's like a key behind one of the bricks that you move? It might be a trap. I had better be careful. Ah. Uh. I need clues for my missing son. This is the old Pico power station. I Pico? thought it was abandoned. The butterfly was over there. Could it be pointing towards something? I don't know. I am a dumbass. I'm really, really stupid. Oh, don't touch that! Uh, okay. I wonder what would happen if I touched all the... the sparkling wires. <gasps> oh! Wait, am I going back the other way? <laughs> Fuck, wait, 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 <sighs> You did it, Ethan. Ah, no! You left your DNA behind! Ouchie. Oh, I made a boo-boo. They're definitely gonna find that later, aren't they? They're gonna suspect him of being the origami character uh, killer. Fuck! The killer character. He's gonna have to do a lot to get out of this world. He's kind of sneaking around. It looks like he's up to no good. Oh, here we go. Wait, there's an origami in the... In the sign. Should I pick that up? Ah, uh, it's okay. I feel like he would have seen it, right? Not my problem. <laughs> Oh no, my Ormy Gourmet collection. It's ruined. Oh shit. I didn't know he had that in him. Playing cards. What is this? No any tricks, Ethan? How oh, fuck? Wait, no, those are matches. Okay, I guess I'll go in there. Wait, is he gonna get crushed to death in a trash compactor? Oh, it's checking for gas. <gasps> Ethan, you really screwed up this time. Oh, you are so grounded. Oh my god. You're not gonna be able to go to prom. Ethan, you idiot. Oh god. What is that over there? 
It looks spiky. What the fuck is that? Are those dead bugs? Oh no, it's glass. It's glass. Oh, you fucking idiot. You bloody knob. What? He is not going to... Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to... Yeah, yeah, but just tank it. It's so fine. Tear up my arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just broken glass. What? You yeah. want to crawl through broken glass to save your son? <laughs> if you go really, really fast, does he just scream the entire time? <laughs> Do the worm, Ethan. Do the worm. We have to follow the butterfly. The match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Uh. I'm guessing this way. <laughs> Wait, no! No, no, no! No, not this way, not this way! Wait. <laughs> oh, I'm just a little doggy. I'm in my puppy pen. Am I, am, I, am I going the right way? Am I going the right way? Am I going the right way? Should I go this way? Uh, I couldn't see it. Blurry. Easy does it. I couldn't I've see which way the wind was blowing. Or I'm gonna faint. I gotta move slower. I'm gonna fart. Oh, I'm gonna fart. Flame points toward. So this way. This way, right? It just easy does it. Like buttering a little biscuit. I feel like I shouldn't go near this electricity though. This way, this way. Oh. Ow. <laughs> This is literally like a would you rather scenario. I, I, I think the wind is coming this way. I could see the wind blowing. Ugh. Ugh. He's going to do it. He's going to hear a girl fought into a walkie talkie. Just a thousand more miles. Wait, fuck. Which way to go? I have to do the match thing. Oh. Oh. How do I do the? How do I do the match? How do I do the match? He's gonna get glass everywhere. It's, it's over. It's fucking over. He looks like a little puppy. Can I not do the match anymore? Oh, he is fucked. He is actually fucked. Oh no, broken glass. I have a call as fast as I can to save my son. Let's go this way. Shot this way looks right. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. Wait, am I really turning around? I thought this was a new way with the electricity coming out the wall. Fuck! <laughs> Every time he crawls around, <laughs> it just looks like he's doing like puppy play. <laughs> I see it. I see the exit. <laughs> this way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just slowly bleeding out in a tunnel. He's gonna learn why they called it the Nutty Putty Cave. Oh, fuck. Wait, he can make it. He can make it. He can make it. This is what it feels like to be a failure of a father. 
Oh no, there's even more broken glass out here. Jesus. Will he be less beat up if you do that section way better than I did? Or does he always get kind of fucked up? Oh no, now this tunnel is filled with rubbing alcohol. I don't really have any choice. Oh no, this one. This one has lemon juice. And this one is sandpaper? Have to do it for Sean. Uh huh. Are you gonna go in, bro? Ah! No, 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 no. This is a nightmare. He's gonna get stuck. Oh god, he's too big, he's too big! This is me when I go to the McDonald's play place at age 30. To reenact my birth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on. I can playing Twister with my fingers. Not using the matches was like when you use the wrong method and get the right answer. I couldn't see the prompt for it past a certain point. I think I just fucked it up somehow. Oh no, and below this there's a bunch of lava too. And sharks. And then the next room has giant p pianos that fall from the sky. And the endos. And your body gets eaten alive by rats. Coward? What that means? No, don't go the coward way! Stay. It's like playing black death. No, he's not a coward. He was a coward before, but no more. His son suffered a cruel fate because of his cowardice. He must continue on. Okay, just have to crawl under the wires that aren't on. Towards the border fly. Oh, jeez. He looks like a little kitty cat. Meow. Meow. He's arching his back like a little black Halloween cat. I hope that doesn't mean there's any bad luck. Wait, no, this one's kind of zesty. This one's kind of zesty, though. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea, Ethan. Ethan! Careful, Ethan. You are in... Big, big trouble in Little China. Big trouble in Ethan's Little China. Okay, now what? This one looks like it's on. I don't know if I should go... Wait. Can I go this way? I go this way. This one doesn't have as much power as the other one. Fuck! <laughs> I have to claw grip it. I'm going Mongolian style on a controller right now. R1? What's up with that? Did you hear that? Yo, who the fuck set this up? Wait, this one's not on? I can't tell. Okay, this one's definitely sparkling blue. That smiling, waving emoji is like one of the best things I've ever seen. I'll never forget it. Oh God! I didn't know you were supposed to match that. Hold on. Keep it together, Ethan. Come on. Ethan, you're such a fucking dingus. Oh fuck! Oh, he's getting burned. He's really getting huge. Okay, now we match X. Like this? 
Like this? Like this? Come on, Ethan, hurry! Hurry, Ethan! I would've just tanked it. I would just walk through the wires. Ethan, you thunder, thunder. <sighs> Come on. Freaking chowder head. Uh. What? What now, Ethan? Whoa! He just dodged rolled through it. What a champion. Another USB drive. It's the one that that one game developer lost at Medieval Times that has all the videos of squirting on it. <gasps> no, the water's up to his chin. Sean, what have you done, Ethan? I think it's something five to Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Roosevelt Street. I'd like to solve the puzzle. <laughs> Save my lost son? Please don't tell me we have to crawl all the way back. Oh my god. That was a very cinematic moment. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's over. I don't have to crawl through tunnels of glass anymore. It's back at her motel room. Uh, Sean! Sean! The electricity! Oh! Sean! Oh! They hooked up electrodes Sean! to your daddy's nipples! Sean! Sean! I sucked my dick off for you! <laughs> Sean! Sean! You eat all your dinner for oh all I've gone through. Uh, oh. <gasps> no, uh, Ethan! Sean! Oh fuck, he needs medical attention again. Sean! She must be so confused. Like, when she last left him, he just had like a cut on his head. Where is he getting all these from? I can't leave you anywhere. Sean, I'm going to hook my dick up to a car battery for you. I need to prove that I can be the father that stands up. Uh... What? <sighs> Sean, I'm going to put Bengay on my balls. Ethan. 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 Ethan, wake ease. Wake can you ease. Hear me? Wake up ease. I'm going to wrap my balls in tin foil and put them in the microwave like a big potato. Put sour cream on them after. Shit. I have to tend to his wounds. He seems to have several Are those lacerations. Marks on your chest? Damn, you can't just comment on that. It's pretty uh, embarrassing. Really bad. What? I need to disinfect your wounds. Damn, he's gonna think be thinking about that for the rest of his life. Life, am I right, boys? You've got a hell of a fever. Yeah, I don't think he should be on his back, right? He's gonna choke on all of his throw up. He got a fever from being out in the rain. You guys don't get it. You can catch a deadly Japanese cold if you do that. It's very serious. Why is he... What the fuck? He's wearing corduroy! Jesus, what... Is that an electrical burn? Looks kind of cool. It makes him look like he was in a fight. Those are serious burns. He's gonna impress her. I don't know if I can do anything for you. Yeah, I was recording a jackass kind of video where I burn myself with my sister's hair straightener. Pretty cool, huh? 
I can pop pop popcorn kernels with it too if you want to see later. Like maybe I could pop us some popcorn. We can watch a movie. <laughs> he slid down the power plant poop pipe and then went into the broken glass pipe. <gasps> no, what if she looks in here and sees all the? Oh, she's gonna think he is the killer. Origami figures. What is he doing with them? Unless she doesn't know about it. Now she just thinks he's gay. I'm gonna get you help. Again, she has to nurse him back to health. Typical Madison. Just always has to be the hero, huh? Oh, Madison, I'm gonna save the day by helping you stop your bleeding. I'm gonna give you medicine so the infection doesn't no set in. Do I all this for men's attention, huh? Ah, uh, sleeping pills? Um, anti fever. He has a fever from the rain, a heavy fever. Ah, uh, is he gonna die? He needs ointment on his burn. Do I have to like rub it on him like vapor rub? <laughs> Sorry, I'll take it easy. <laughs> now we need to put peanut butter on all your limbs. That should ease the pain. He just awkwardly rubbed his nipple. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, how about, um... I didn't disinfect it! Wait, go back. Go, go... I'll give him a back. He needs him, he needs him. He needs him. Ugh. I need more... Wait, no, not the but. Oh, no, put him back. Put Can't him back. put on a bandage yet. Yeah, 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 Gotta yeah. Gotta yeah. treat the wounds first. We need disinfectant. I don't know. Do you do that for burns? Crap. Let's disinfect. Them. Yeah, yeah, you don't. You don't. You gotta do it on his arm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Infected him with AIDS. Oh God. I don't think he trusts her anymore. Your wounds are disinfected. I feel when the the girl cashier at GameStop tells you that your wounds are disinfected. He needs he needs painkiller. He's still in a lot of pain. This reminds me from that part in Kung Pao where the lady is like nursing his hand that he got all fucked up and she starts pouring a bunch of disinfectant on it <laughs> and like kissing his fingers and <laughs> Okay, okay, let's bandage you up. Let's put a diaper on this guy. Thermometer. <laughs> I want to watch that movie again. It's such a classic. Oh, d d d d d d d. Oh, oh shit. She's gonna end up breaking all of his bones. Help, Madison! Help my hemorrhoids. I am getting nursed back to health by a hot woman for you, Sean. <laughs> for you. you need Doing this for you, me. Sean. Hack. How do you feel? Sean, she's eating my ass. Sean. He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. 
That is like the classic bandage up. style for like a dude in a movie, like an action movie that got severely wounded in battle. Hmm, you, you wanna play mummy? You wanna play mummy in the pyramid that can wrap you up like a mummy and put you in a little sarcophagus? Take a fart on you while you're mama fried. Oh, and he's doing the thing that guys do in movies where they're like... Oh, they're like wounded or having a bad dream. Because they like drank too much alcohol or something on a bender because something really bad happened. And they're just like sweating and just like tossing and turning. Does that happen to guys a lot? Yeah, this guy gives off divorced dad who lost his son energy. How do you feel? Why is she helping him? She's just a better. magazine lady. Was I out for long? About three hours. What? Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. She's trying to take something from you. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up. Oh, I when thought she was going to say that she lost her memory. Block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. Ethan, your son is currently inches away from drowning and dying a terrible, painful death. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? Tell the truth, Madison. I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. What if her hobby is bandaging up it, people but, uh, who are wounded and she was depressed? It's not easy. Until now. She hasn't had a chance to do it. Problems? You, um... You got some kind of a problem? Oh god. Bigger than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> Is he talking about his wiener? You mixed up with the mafia? Owe someone money? Something like that? This guy in the mafia? No, Listen, Madison. My son is dead. Help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. I have to help. Help him. Maybe I could help you. No I... one can help me. Jesus, You've Ethan. Already done a lot, Madison. Ethan thinks he can just do all this right. stuff on his own. He's such a fool. I'm gonna go. Look what you've done. Take care. Oh no. Wait. Could I have done that better? Wait. Guys. Did I make a wrong choice? Or does it always end up like this? I can never tell in David K. James. Because sometimes the choices literally do not matter. Did I blow it? No! I can fix you! Ah! Ah! Are they all gonna no! die? Oh! Wait, is there a way to do it right? Or did I... Okay, be honest. Please be honest, be honest, be honest, be honest. Does the scene change much? Please don't say legendary sex scene, miss. I'm- I'm actually going to puke everywhere. You did it right, but it's funnier if you fuck it up. Wait. How is it funnier? I missed something- I missed legendary funny scene? <sighs> is it actually fucked? Do I have to- do I have to do it- uh, do it over again? The scene is of no real consequence? Okay. I trust you. They typed with fully correct grammar and punctuation and capitalization, so I know that they're being honest. Mm, the lizard or me go to me. Nine seven one one Marble Street. Where the hell is that? I did not miss the gay sex scene. Stop it. 
Are you sure? Did you double check it? Okay, right, right. These pre rendered okay, cutscenes are so strange. Corda has an airtight alibi for at least two of the disappearances. He's not the origami. Killer. Everyone moves like it's zero gravity. Okay, let's get back to work. Okay. Fuck, that bastard was the perfect fit. <laughs> he made that thing flip at least like three times. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. Wait, that's his ex-wife. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. <gasps> I asked him where he'd been. Oh no. He uh he spoke about drowning the rain. What? Um, he didn't make Does any she sense. think it's him? There was What if something. it is him? Something in his eyes. Then who is sending all the clues? Really he can't just send that to himself. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement. No. About another victim. No, you can't divorce them and throw them under the bus like this. Find my son. I'm begging you. <laughs> My chin is itchy. I'm police Lieutenant Carter Blake. This is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. Oh my According God! Look at this guy's Reddit desk. One of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I'm sorry. I beg your <laughs> I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Yeah, this is his Under weird no chapel may therapist. I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and Sean. I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Um, reason shrink. Can you really reason with a shrink? It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. What if we pretend to be a patient? You need to cooperate for your own sake. Let's pretend to be like, well, I'm crazy now. I know you don't want to protect a murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take oh, it. Oh, they're doing good cop, bad cop again. Uh, help. I'm going to call the police and oh, make a complaint oh, why about didn't your it, uh, Ah, fuck! No, 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 no. Pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that Oh, please, please life. don't beat him so, to death. you're going to be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really going to lose my temper. Doctor, help. a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help yeah, yeah, save him. Yeah, yeah, scare him. Just, uh, you have make his bowels a little orgasm. loose. I killed an orgasm for you. Go cut my dick. Don't work. Shut you're starting up his lawnmower. Oh my god. Oh no, he's gonna pass out. Alright, Norman, get over here and shit him. Shit him. Shit on him. He's right. Legally, you gotta tell us what you know. He's just. Move shrink. Sean Mars's life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you yeah, know. Yeah, let's make him emotionally move while he's getting punched in the face. You have no right to hit him. <laughs> I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. You don't <laughs> that like it, took please. so long for him to intervene. <laughs> oh. Oh. What's up with you, Norm? How you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. No, my feet are really Sean warm. Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. He's gonna get away. I'll get you for this, Jaden. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, no. I will not forget. This Ethan guy is Mars a loose had cannon. Had problem since his first son died. <sighs> Feels responsible for his death. Their lips were sort like centimeters neurosis. away from one another. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. Why did he A smile like that? After one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. <gasps> the the doggy. Oh my god, you guys! I want to look at dogs. 
I want to look at dogs in the dog shelter. Right now. I found this dog earlier. I kind of want to show you guys, but I'm scared to. Because I feel like I'll jinx it and we won't be able to get him. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking oh, for Oh no, now he has to be on the run. The airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city Every David Cage ass. game so has like the rules, same basic it. story yes. beats. Ethan Mars is the origami killer. There's the detective characters and like a buddy cop situation. There's the main character that has something fucked up happen to them and they have to go on the run. And then the detectives are chasing them and then there's the secret third character who uh does something. What the fuck? Are these golfing places real? Is this what Top Golf is? They really have like layered multi story driving ranges like that? What? What the, 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 the? Aww. Happy golfing couple. Nice shot. It's the president. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. No thanks. That makes me gassy. Do you play? I tried once. But I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. Couldn't stop eating all the golf balls. It's an interesting Just really sport. like the mouth feel of them. strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's they no should make golf ball candy, but thing. out of like wafer material. Okay. Take okay. off your jacket and grab a club. Yeah, take your jacket off and grab my club. I'll get you. I'll get behind you and I'll line it up. Line up the shot. <laughs> Bro, he's such a big guy. The club looks tiny. All right. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Mm, I'm scared. What? What if it explodes? Am I doing it right? It'd be so gap moe if the detective, the big bumbling detective, was like actually well, kind of shy and ball. Don Dele. Strike it a little harder next time. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's my first time. I uh, know. Oh, I wish I knew how to how to use a golf club. Nandomo, Nandomo, Nandomo. Wow. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf. Mr. Watching Joe Biden sensei hit the golf ball fills me with determination. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. What? That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. I want you to imagine that your son's head is this tiny golf ball. And this is what is going to happen to it. Now watch this drive. Yep. Ali. Oop. Uh, oh fuck! I have to line up the shot again. Okay, I'm just gonna place my feet shoulder width apart, firmly grasp the club, and then. Eh. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna. Okay, keep my pelvis, my pelvic area kind of square with the floor, and firmly grasp it. At uh, ten and two o'clock. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? I socked that motherfucker. <gasps> hole in one! Hole in one! My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Oh, 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 well, oh, then he has nothing oh, to fear oh, from oh, my investigation. I think the you brain no tumor that is making me dizzy all day today is to slowly destroying my capacity for human speech, and gradually I'm just gonna. <clears throat> with all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide <laughs> But I think you guys would still understand what I'm saying. Yeah. He looked kind of I'm proud of that one. Man, Mr. Shelby. And I, very well I want to see Mr. Shelby eat everything he wants at McDonald's. 
I want to see someone order for Mr. Selby at McDonald's, like go up to the counter for Let's him, and he's kind of standing behind them bashfully, like kind of looking the other way, How pretending do he doesn't see the other guy or ordering for him, and then he he just whispers, "Thank you." It's hard for me to order at places like this because it's so loud and my voice way. doesn't really carry. I'm kind of shy. Don't go near and the other guy's like, like, "It's okay, Mr. Shelby. Anytime." And then he gets his order Have and there's, nice day, there's pickles on his burger and he doesn't want them and he's like, Oh no, it's okay. I I can just pick them off. Uh, yeah, I don't really do well with pickles. I uh, know. Uh, <laughs> and the other guy's like, No, this cannot do, Mr. Shelby. Here, I'll rectify the situation. And he goes up and he, he tells them that he requested no pickles on his burger. And then he, he doesn't a butthole exam on him. He has them get on all fours on a operating table and puts on rubber gloves and just starts poking around in his anal area. Just seeing if his colon health is up to par. Because he is kind of getting up there in age. Mr. Shelby, it's time for your... Your... <laughs> your big appointment. <laughs> I was wondering where my Happy Meal toy was. <gasps> oh, it's a mouse family. That is a staple in PlayStation 3 games where you're a depressed dude kind of wandering around in abandoned places. Is this a real lizard? Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with Break the rest it. of this old beat up stuff. Break it. Snap it in half. Let's share my cameo. <laughs> Is this in Boston? Wait a minute. They're all lizard because the origami was lizard. It's in Philly. Oh, <gasps> there's the key. I found the right one. Of course, it's the green lizard because the lizard on the door is green. Who would have thought? And this puzzle, it would have had. This is a puzzle I'd be stuck on for a long time if I wasn't just randomly going up to the lizards and breaking them. What? There's an iPad in here. That's where the ratatouille rat learns all his recipes. Oh, this room? What do you mean? Whenever somebody says that when I go into a room in a game, I know... Either there's going to be like a full frontal nudity sex scene... Or... There's going to be a puzzle that takes... Four fucking hours for me because I am completely stupid. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? No. oh You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers oh, and turn off the camera. If you succeed, you will like get Yakuza support. style? No, no, no. I mean, it's just the last section. Or, uh, just think about it. You're trading the tip of your finger for your son. How many of you would trade the tip of your finger for your son? And you have to do it with a very rusty saw. And no... Pain mist. <laughs> Bro, can you choose what tool you use? I just picked the worst one. <laughs> oh yeah, there's like a... <laughs> what are we gonna use the faucet for? Oh god, oh. Ew. Why are you... Why is he rubbing doo-doo water on his face? Yeah, let's get the spoon to do it. Or like the sponge from the sink. Oh yeah, drink the the alcohol to numb it. You have four minutes and thirty seconds left. Shit. Okay, lady. Okay. I think it'd be better to use the butcher knife, wouldn't it? Would you rather use a bone saw or a butcher knife for cutting off the tip of your finger for your son? 
Wait, maybe there's like a shaving razor in the bath though. No. Wait, wait, wait for it. There's medicine. I'm gonna need this. Now there's only three minutes left, right? Scissors? No. Okay, I think I got the best possible thing. I don't know. Or maybe I could use a shard of a broken glass? No, don't go! Four... You have four minutes. Oh, hold it together, Ethan. It's just the tip of your finger, right? Wait, what's in this chair? Like a butter knife? No, he's just sitting there and contemplating shit. No, you can't do that right now. You can't get introspective right now, bro. You gotta, t you gotta cut off your finger. <laughs> it's it's like one of those Giga Chad comics, but it's like computer tells me to chop off my finger to save my son. Just leave. Based. Okay, the alcohol should numb it. And it can help disinfect. For this at my decoffin, now I have to chop my three finger off. Three minutes and thirty Shut seconds. Chop. No, I can't please that. Pop mommy. Shut Wait, I think he can drink more. I'm doing this for He's not drunk yet. Shut my fucking finger. Shut up. Chop. He can give it to his son as a gift. The fingertip, I mean. <laughs> okay, I think I drank it empty. Okay, nice. Okay, he's definitely really drunk. And uh, no, no, don't, no, don't get up. Don't <laughs> he got scared. Oh, you have to disinfect it first? Shit. I didn't know it worked like that. Oh, it's stinky, isn't it, Ethan? It happens. Oh, no. At least he's not doing it to his dominant hand. You have three minutes left. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, this, this will be better, right? It'll be quick, painless. No, no. <laughs> Deep breath, deep breath. Come on, bro. Do it. Don't just try it. Do it. Do or do not, there is no try. Imagine Yoda is on your back, whispering in your ear, telling you to cut off your finger. Do it for him. Oh my god, he's actually gonna... He's actually gonna... <laughs> you have to show it to the camera, bro. Come on. Shoe on head. Under the desk. What, what is that? No. This is making my entire body tense up. Oh god. Yeah, I was right there the entire time. What if he read it wrong? No. No. 852. It is Roosevelt. It's gotta be Roosevelt. This guy has really been through the ringer for his son. 
kind of like what they did to Christ when they crucified him. <laughs> Bro, look at the camera. It was a prank. <laughs> There's another camera there and a camera there and there. I put 100 people in a different room and told them to chop off the tip of their finger to save their son. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. I Lucky kidnapped 100 children. Beats me. For the You're ultimate the profiler, YouTube right? prank. I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the Get killer. Inside so the killer, the Norman. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. Oh shit! What the fuck is that girl doing there? <laughs> She's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Oh get her no! No. He's gonna have to down. do some kind of like crazy escape route. Do you think she'll be able to drive off with him on her motorcycle? He's like riding in the back. Why does God let bad things happen to good people? Where do we go when we die? She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Lost just as well. We don't want anyone oh no. hanging around. If they're Mark gonna tail her and find them. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Why is she so eager to help him? What's he up to in there? Aside from the guardian angel thing. Wait for a go on my word. Oh shit. Eden, we are in big boy trouble. We have to board up the doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh shit. Oh shit, Eden. Yes. We have to unboard the doors. Oh. 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 Oh, thank you, Speed Freak, for gifting us sub to Ethan. <laughs> he has been having a pretty rough time. I think you could use some ad-free viewing. Wow, she's so strong for a girl. Shit. It's too high. You're gonna have to give me a boost. Come on, bro. What if I move, uh, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched this movie last night with Ethel called The Black Phone. I won't spoil what it's about, because it's actually... It's got a, a lot of cool twists and turns. It's worth a watch. Oh, fuck. Stay here, no! I'm coming with you. Two men okay, the yeah, yeah. They're gonna keep fighting it's like a married couple. Couple, 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 couple. Married couple. Me couple. I'm a little guppy. I'm a little guppy in a big ocean. And I don't know how to get out. Just yank it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, with Ethan Hawk. With Ethan Hawk. Another Ethan connection. He's everywhere, isn't he? Ethan is always around us at all times. Oh, he does need a little boosty. Here we go. I give Ethan uppies. But I thought it was a, it was a really interesting movie. We wanted to watch a horror movie, and it didn't really deliver on the horror front. Like, it wasn't scary at all, but it was a pretty good, like, thriller, mystery kind of movie. Hey, you, don't move. With a I'll really shoot. interesting concept and in setup. I can't. Hands in the air! Shit. No. Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! No. It's Shit. that girl who went in. Ooh. Everybody downstairs. They're in the alley. Oh no, we gotta play Frogger to get to the fucking the subway. subway. Ah! If we bob and weave through all the cars, we might lose them. They're not 
is gonna get us. Which fucking way am I going? The camera angle changed. Oh, no fucking way. There's no fucking way. No fucking way to go. They're right there by the bus. Oh shit, they have guns. Ah, no, 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 no. He got hit by a car. He failed the QTE, thank god. Now he's all disoriented. He's like, oh, fuck. Where the fuck am I? Where am I going? Oh, damn it. The camera's pissing me off. Fuck. Yes. I made it. Poor Jaden. Everyone in this game just cannot catch a break. Ethan, Ethan, what's the matter? <gasps> oh no, bro! This is not the time to be having a realistic panic Ethan, attack, bro. Come on, come on. Snap out of it! Oh, he's gotta go! Oh, the swings! <laughs> Me and Ethel really like yelling homoerotic stuff and Scooby Doo voices at each other. On like different ends of the house. <laughs> like, this is Wink Scoob! I'm gonna come! <laughs> oh fuck, not this QTE. The impossible controller QTE. Some say nobody has ever been able to attempt it on the PC port of Heavy Rain. We lost them. We lost them. Come on, faster, Ethan. The tracks. We've got to cross the tracks. Wait, do we? Uh, do we? Quick, quick, Ethan, quick! It's gonna hit us. What? <laughs> no, not right when the fucking train is. Ah! The game crashed. The game just crashed. Train hit game. Wait, I hope it's saved. Oh my god, I hope it's saved. <gasps> Mr. President, another train has hit my 4090 graphics card. They said the rain was just simply too heavy for it to process. Okay, what's my continue? Wait, what the? Fugitive? Why does that sound like it's like a chip flavor? Fugitive. Mmm. Fugitive Doritos. <gasps> nice. Okay, okay, okay. We have to cross the tracks. Please don't crash again. Ooh. Maybe we can just go to the Bahamas. Bahama Mama. Zooey! Ooey gooey! <laughs> oh, it's gonna be like in the movies where they see the people running away and they're like, Wait! Stop! And then the train goes by and then they're just gone. Vanished in thin air. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, shit. We've gotta get on that train, Ethan. I don't know if we it's can make it! Chance. I'm scared! I've never been on a, t t a train before! Oh. oh, we're long gone now. There's no fucking way they're gonna catch us. Yes! Success! Oh, is there a different way that could have ended? Like, could it branch off into a different kind of story? Ago, we heard from the police who have identified or is the it again the illusion of choice? Killer, Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is you could have gotten caught? And should be considered armed and Wouldn't the game just end the there? They got caught? And they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this now dangerous he's a wanted lunatic. man. For the first time in his life. Oh, she got groceries. Oh no, bro. She's going full wife mode on okay. Ethan. While wearing her Japan coat. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. How did she know where he was? Gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. She follow his scent? You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. 
They say you're the origami killer. He's finally popular. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Origami! <sighs> Confide. What if she's disappointed if he's not? I'm so divorced. Oh god. I got divorced so much. It sucks. I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Oh. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. I want to buy Twitter so bad. As if I'm... The more divorced someone, someone is, the more they different. really want to buy Twitter and make it really the shitty. I remember Fuck. I want to design a death trap car. It's the body. Oh, fuck. And get married to a weird fringe indie musician who probably smells like Why cat piss. Hurt, Ethan? Why are fuck. You in I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. What? He wants to know if I love my son enough Wait, to Wait, does he him. genuinely believe? That means there's some part of me that He's in some kind of like Sean fight club is. scenario? But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victim <laughs> and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. <laughs> I have uh, no choice. Yeah? <laughs> I'm his only chance. <laughs> when Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. No, don't do that. You're gonna give her the egg. I think that'd be on like top ten girl eggs. When girls just like you randomly figure like out this. something about like a dude that You're they're with that yourself, like Ethan. just turns them off. Oh my god, imagine I'm him. Sean. Being on the run from the police for doing something kind of bad, and then he says, I'm gonna turn myself in. Ew! There has Yuck. to be another way. It's like he's running with a backpack on. Ryan is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. Imagine his son got kidnapped from him and he can't find him. Oh, gross. Ew! Imagine, Please, imagine your significant me. other crawling Please. through a, a tube Forget filled with broken glass. Happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. <laughs> What a turn off. <laughs> if you want to help me, leave. <laughs> leave me to do this on my own. Wait, no, she's getting the reverse ick now. Now she thinks he's cool and mysterious and kind of detached emotionally. No, come back. How many times is she gonna do the thing where he says something kind of emo and then she just says nothing, looks at him, and then leaves? <sighs> Imagine how boring three white women in their 30s would sound talking about Ethan on their true crime podcast. Oh my god, I would watch the shit out of that. Turn on the fan and do the, the alien voice into it. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> wait, bro, you don't need a fan to do that. You can just like, wait, try this with me. Take your hand like in front of your mouth and just wave it up and down really fast like this. Can you hear that? Can you hear how fast I'm waving my hand? <laughs> can you hear how fast I'm flapping it? Holy shit. Ow! I just hit my microphone really hard! <laughs> okay, it's, it's like all on the wrist. You have to like hinge your arm at the elbow. Keep your elbow straight. Keep your arm parallel to the desk. And just flap it like this. <laughs> and then, okay, part two is you have to go... I am, I am an alien. I'm from outer space. <laughs> If you're if you're fast enough, ah. <laughs> the sound is only from your body going up and down from shaking. No, it's not. Here, I'll stay completely still. See, someone else said it works. Let me roll up my sleeves for this one. Ah, ground control. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. See, it's not from you shaking. It's from the air. 
That's actually from the air. It's from the turbulence in the air. Holy fuck. I never knew that my entire life. You can do it with your hand away from the mouth too. Shake your arm away from your face and try. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, what do you mean? No, I'm just blowing air onto my mic. <laughs> it sounds like you're in a wind tunnel. <laughs> Wait, does it look like I'm like talking, but the only sound that's coming out is... Try it. It's like some kind of Pilates movement. Calm down. I'm out of breath. Wait, what if you can combine it with with a bottle? Yes. <laughs> One pink cat shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Don't shake me too much. I might end up like a Mentos and Coke. Oh, he needs to wash. He needs a good wash. <sighs> yeah, imagine doing that. Bro, if you pee into a fan, what happens? Does it blow back on you or get sucked up into the fan? <laughs> Whoa! Shit! Depends on which way the fan is blowing. You know what? That's so true. Brad Silver. 6784 Longway Road, Lexington. Kill him, send a picture. What? What's the last thing gonna be? The, is he gonna have to like suck the guy off? Okay, what are the lengths that you would personally go to to save your kidnapped son? Would you murder someone? Hypothetically. If I had a hypothetical son in a hypothetical scenario... <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. What song was that? Just a little something I learned from a synesthesia tutorial. It's, uh, the Minecraft theme. Oh, it's... Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> he just gave up. <laughs> Oh yeah, You're was it Moonlight welcome, Sonata? Sir. Yes. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying oh. so. What if they play together? Problems with they the have investigation. a little play date. Thank you, Valeno, for Blake giving us up to Norman Jaden of the FBI. <laughs> Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. What? His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. <laughs> Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Leave him alone, oh, he's stimming. One last thing, sir. 
You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. Wait, what? It can be dangerous. What does he Very mean? Very dangerous. Is he doing like VR porn on, it, on the glasses? That's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. Oh yeah, he's addicted to that blue It'll powder end up stuff. You if you're not careful. I forgot about that plot point. That would be most unfortunate, sir. I went to a furry world in VR chat last night. <gasps> now he's on Mars! Okay, let's take a look at our current clues. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. Oh, yeah! I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Oh, no. It's gonna be so embarrassing. He's gonna see the dad acting a fool. Uh, analyze. Let's see. Let's see. 1,583 vehicles identified. Holy That's not shit. gonna help me find the killer's car. Maybe if I cross-check it against another clue. Oh! Maybe we got a closer look at the car. The tire! The tires! We, we will combine the tires. Or analyze them. What kind of make and model is this? Tyron brand. The Chevrolet. This car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Oh. He's driving a girl car. Okay, I think that should be enough data, right? <gasps> is that our guy? A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite I'm direction never making of fun of how these French voice actors talk ever Mars again. Disappeared. After today, be the killer's car? I feel like I have to wrestle with my tongue every time I speak. It's bad. No data for Dionysus. He sounds like he has marbles in his mouth and his brain is just drying up. In a good way. Oh, sh oh fuck. <laughs> Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face. Maybe there's a reflection. Registered on June 3rd, 1992. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it. But the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Fuck! Can't you analyze it? His his drivers, his drivers, his driver driver. Let's take a look at this. Jackson Neville. Jackson Neville, A.K.A. Mad Jack. Whoa. Involved in Mad several Jack? cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. That sounds like a bad guy's name. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. Literally, it's everyone in this lead, game has two first right names. Now. Is that how it works in France? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh, one last thing, sir. I'm trapped in Skyrim! You should be careful not to overindulge. What the fuck? Is this what happens when you get addicted to smack? Very dangerous. No. Shit. It's... It's coming. Uh, Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. I need it. All I, I need, need it. To take some. The dark wizard is going go to come away. for me. I should resist. I'm having an edgy me. nosebleed. Oh, jeez. And, and do something until it goes away. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Just do something until it goes away? Like, like what? Take it! 
Maybe it wasn't the right choice, but... He needs a reward for being a very good detective. Wait, does it kill him? You're actually dead? No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. I thought it would kill him if he didn't take it because of the withdrawal symptoms. Live with it? No! No! You said it would kill him? I don't know. I can't trust the, the words of a junkie. No, I, I need his story to continue. It'll be boring if he dies. I'm not living the shit. Oh, one last thing, sir. <laughs> you should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. But the withdrawal seem even more dangerous. Shit. What, what if he... It's coming. What if he's been really good? The tube is on the bedside table. What if he needs some need retail therapy? To some and the pain will go away. No. No. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until I mean, it goes just away. a little bit wouldn't kill you. Just a, just a little sprinkle. Oh no, what if this kills him? It's not the blue stuff, so it's, it's probably good. Yeah, 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 we'll take the edge off. And now, uh, go on your bed and watch a 10-hour video game documentary. Or a, No, 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 no! Throw it, throw it! Yeah, you gotta flush it down the toilet, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's the only way. You have to remove the urge. in your bum bum. There it goes. He has to fight it. It's the only way it can help. Wait, did we did we make it? Is it gonna be okay now? Now the withdrawal is gonna kill him. He needed that to live. Are you being serious, or...? Uh... He can get more from another dealer. He's fine? Okay, I trust PAK215. They would not lead me astray. Manfred? Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Uh, anybody have the time? <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh god, this scene, what's gonna happen? What could possibly happen in an antique clock store? Is he gonna have to cut off one of his toes? Oh shit, it's this guy. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Oh no, Scott. not the scene. Oh god, it's the gay Scott old man Shelby. sex scene. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, oh, yeah, of course. Well, good to see you. Manfred, that's a cute it? name. Oh, Manfred. About ten years, I guess. Oh, my Wait, I think I might be playing a banned copy anymore. of the game with the uncensored gay man, I, uh, I old gay clocks, man, I try to uh, about gray time. man, the gray man sex scene. How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, she just this calls for at a him. celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. Let's play cards against so humanity. <laughs> Finally, I have three people to play. Here somewhere. 
<laughs> Come into my chambers. I have a few lemons for you guys. What does lemon party mean? Um. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Oh, okay, okay. Sure, got no you. Problem. I got you. No problem. If you want to know what a lemon party is, uh. Do you have a grandparent who's in the Freemasons Hello? by any chance? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. That's Could you call back later this afternoon? That's what they Thank do you. when they get together in those secret buildings. You should have picked up the phone and did a prank. Scott used to be so much more well, fun. Used to be so much more bumbling. Friends. Now he's like being competent and stuff. Kind of weirding me out. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. Oh. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was He's used the killer. to type the address on it. Oh. Burping in space. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure. Get it yourself. My eyes are beginning to what fail. A lazy me. old bitch. Okay, okay. I love how in this game there's a QTE for literally everything. Even just like the most mundane actions in every cutscene. I just want you to feel like you're part of the action. And I appreciate it. Thanks. Well, let's see what this Oh my my actions matter. For itself. Hmm. Oh. The Royal Five. There's the cool S. Mm, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. A QTE to just shake out the last drop. <laughs> the last drop of PP. <laughs> yes. No doubt about it. QTE the helicopter. My wee wee. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. Hmm. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. I'm sorry, I thought about a cellar and I thought about how dusty cellars are and it made me sneeze. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire Oh, he's got a monopoly on it. For a saw thank you, thank you for in, the blessings. Uh, thank you, 64. thank you. Well, they were gonna take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> My English teacher made fun of me in high school for the way I sneeze. Has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Yeah, I did the QTE right. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh yes, indeed. Well, at least the oh. ones who. Oh pay. yes. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Maybe you could fix yes, my clock. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, and then you killed your English teacher? Not in a hurry, nah. I have a list of all the nah. clients who ever bought a royal nah, no, or, no, or no. repaired. I wouldn't yeah, kill my English really teacher and leave out. behind like Shakespearean hmm. clues to the police to, to taunt them that they'll never catch me? me two minutes. Nah, uh, no, right no, 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 no. No, I sneezed in his class once and he was like, Is there a fairy in here? Is the killer's been here? He got me, I gotta admit. Well, if he has a 1920s it was a good roast. typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. No, he's not. I'm pretty sure he's not dead. He was a pretty young guy when I was in his class. He was in his 30s. Actually, no, he was like closer to 40. And he really liked the Smiths. And he was one of those like militant vegan people and had like meat as murder posters in his classroom. And that was kind of... Uh, but otherwise, he was a really chill guy. He had like the best music recommendations and... He was just like the kind of teacher that you know is chill and is there for you to, for you to succeed. Been a while since Manfred he was not much of a office. stickler. Let's take a look. 
Yeah, he was kind of like a class level 9 character. I saw something... I don't know if it was like a Reddit post or what. Like one of those like R relationships posts. Hello? Manfred. Hello? Your what? call is locked, sir. A police oh. car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. What? Sir? The Hello? fuck? Anyway, before I help this dead man... Scott? Oh shit, I shouldn't have walked out of there. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We've <gasps> gotta get the hell out He's of here. He's gonna pin it on what us! Mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. This Look, we're running out of time to I... on Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours I can't hours download any more RAM onto my dedicated server. Well, so what do we do? I don't care if someone's vegetarian or vegan. Honestly, I myself have Watch a diet door. where I'll get rid of our I can't really eat beef or pork. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. Mostly because of like physiological reasons, because it hurts my tummy. Hello, uh, Lowen. What are you doing, Lauren? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We got to get out of here fast. Take them, take them! They're evidence! Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. What do you mean, were I... Was I paying attention to everything I touched, like, in this room? Oh, no! I don't think I touched much, except for the magnifying glass. Oh, fuck. It didn't have my fingerprints on it. Oh, it was the... I touched this. Yeah. Police are on their way. And I touched the, uh, the glass. Was it this one? I think it was this one. I'm pretty sure. I'll just wipe them all off. Oh, fuck. Uh... Oh, and the phone! The phone, too! Because ah! I had to... That's right! I had to... I don't think I touched the bottle. I don't remember touching it. Did I bring him the bottle? Both of the... That's right, because I... <gasps> I picked it up when I found him and you're dead! And I've done the... I don't think I touched him. I accidentally missed that QTE. But maybe it was a uh, mistake into miracles. You could be much longer. No! The police will be here any second. I'm I gotta take a poop. I gotta take a poopy. I gotta make poopy. <sighs> oh, I gotta pinch it off. I gotta pinch it. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Did I touch the window? Did I touch the ballerina? <gasps> she touched the ballerina! Hang tight. I'll just check one last time. I haven't forgotten anything. I saw her playing with it. I saw her stimming with this thing. Let's get it. Okay, 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 okay. We made it. We made it. Let's fucking go. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? <gasps> no! What about the door handle? Hang ah! tight. I'll just check one last time. I haven't forgotten anything. Door? Door. The door? The door. Which door? Uh... Please will be here any second. Gotta get out now. This door? I don't think I touched that door. Which door? <laughs> the front door? I can't... I can't interact with it. Did I... I may have touched this. Let me just rub it. If there's a prompt to clean it, then I probably touched it. Let's be real. Wait, does that mean I touched the bottle too? Back door? I don't think there's a... Uh, I went to the store and there was no prompt. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Let's get the fuck out. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Uh, yes. I don't know saying I had to get the door though. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent oh, them from finding us. No. Come on, let's go. I don't think I got everything if he said it like that. He said it with like no confidence. Oh shit. I forgot to clean the the milking device. So you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. 
correct? Yeah, what about his yes, footprints he everywhere? Yes, went to get something in his office. Oh, fuck. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's We're gonna I look found. so suspicious. It's over. It's actually over. What have I done? I you rubbed my eyes too hard, and now I can barely Mr. see because my vision is really blurry. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. <laughs> Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. His earwax got on the wall. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. Oh, or not, no. Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Okay. He's kind of Australian. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Scott Shelby. You oh no, again? the office bully is on wrong his ass. Time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. I don't trust this For guy at all. Sake. He's such a Thanks, dick. Carter. I owe you one. Are you on to anything at the moment? Oh, he's on something. Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage you tell me about it tell me about it for a little smooch on my cheek right scott sure you let me give you a little smooch on your your rosy little cheeks oh you look like a overgrown cherub from heaven i'm taking you home this is getting way too dangerous no way we're partners remember we had a deal <laughs> This is a game where you can press buttons to make a choice, Lauren. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. But what does this sound like? I know what I have to do. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking subwoofer. <laughs> For some reason, while you're in the car, the controller is just like going. Urgh. I'm just gonna give her the cold shoulder. Stop the fucking car! Brom, brom, brom. Shelby, stop farting. Oh my god, this girl is crazy. Bro, what the heck? What is her fucking problem? If you're not gonna help me find the bastard who killed my Johnny, I'll do it on my own. <gasps> no, that's too dangerous. Hit her with a car. She's right there, bro. Just crap. I have no choice. Crab. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Wait, what? This girl's stubborn as a mule. You have to go out there and reason with her. With or without me. I can't just leave her like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Yeah, you have to help her. She can't be in on uh, on her own. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laura! It's too dangerous for a little lady like her. Okay, now push her into oncoming traffic. I miss him. Is there gonna be a sex scene? I miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. This rain is. Kind of heavy, right? Why was there an option to caress? Wait, is he giving her his coat? Wow, this... I'm really small and this coat is really big on me. Husband. It's so cold out in the rain, husband. The cry meta, that's how they get you? I don't know if he's the one getting got in this situation. Mr. Scott, your your coat is very large. It's like an XXXL. And I'm very small. <gasps> he has to murder this guy to prove his loyalty to the son. Oh. 
Oh, what if there's a jaguar behind the door? Oh, I was yeah. right. What do you want? Oh, oh no. Fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. Hey. Should he actually Take kill easy, him? Man. Huh? I don't know if he should actually Keep kill cool. this guy. <laughs> Maybe he's like a, a, tor a terrible no. scum lord. Money? And we're like doing Tell vigilante stuff. Sure, we can make a deal, huh? <laughs> I don't know if right. Oh! No! He, of course he has a pump shotgun. Oh fuck! Okay, now it's self-defense. <laughs> Not the guitar! That thing's like a thousand dollars! Boom! Come on, just keep grunting really loud. You can do it, bro. Ah! Oh, fuck, did he get shot? Sean! Ah! Dodge roll. Bob and Leaf. S, S. Oh, shit. I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. I missed. Robo Raggy. Oh shit! Oh my God, he's laughing like a maniac. Oh God no. Damn, punk. I'm gonna blow your brains out. It's okay, bro. You can kill him now. It's self-defense. You don't have to feel guilty about it. Get out of here. Go die no. somewhere else. Bro, just shoot him. Is it because I failed too many of the cute? <laughs> oh, I failed too many. What the fuck? I mean, he wasn't dead. You got shot like three times. I didn't see the bullet holes. I I didn't see anything. Oh no. Yes. Oh no. <gasps> no. I didn't... You can get chapter select, it's fine. Wait, how, 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 Yes. Listen, if you want consequences for my actions, then every time I fuck up and all the characters die, the game will be like five hours shorter and be at least 30% less fun. I can't live with that. I can't. The mall... Hassan's shop. Fugitive Jaden Blues. <laughs> I got the Jaden Blues. Okay, it's at the shark, right? Progress will be safe from this point. Next chapters may not be consistent anymore until you replay them. What does that mean? Should I do a yes save or no save? Save to continue. Okay, okay, okay. What? What? Yes? That seemed like such a big decision. I don't know. I was scared. Yes, it's just overriding progress. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, this time. This time. I think Sean was fine. Yeah, he's just at the water park. It's okay. He's on Treasure Island! Yeah. What do you want? This guy looks like Jeffrey oh, Epstein. Fuck it. I he really didn't die. Times that I don't want any junkies in my door. What is you this? You wanna score, man. You gotta fucking call first. Come on. Oh, yeah? Hey. Take it easy, man. Huh? No, Keep he's gonna cool. go get his gun, too. <laughs> he's gonna want? try to one-up you. Nope. Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal. Just shoot huh? him now. Shoot him now. Gosh, no, fuck. Why isn't friends. there a QTE to shoot him? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, I missed the first one. Fuck. 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 Oh, shit. Uh, I missed the first one again. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'll just nail all the other ones. Yes. Yes. 
He will only get shot two times this time. No, no, no! Ah, fuck! Oh my god! Oh, they happen so fast! They're so fast! Oh god! Oh god! He's doing the Joker laugh! Come on! Come on! Come on! I don't think I made it this far before. Oh, he's out of bullets! And so am I. Hold it, man! I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I think he has a family. I got children. What if he's, he's actually a pedophile? Sin. This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Sarah and Cindy, you couldn't come up with better Please, names man. than that? Huh? I wanna see or them Jasmine again. or Jade or something Please. cool. They're gonna be made Please fun of for their no. entire fucking Shit. life. What do I do? What will give me the best outcome with the best scenes? Killing him? Okay. I'm a father too. But oh. I have no choice. These kids are going to grow up without a father now. W Ethan. <laughs> Shit, I gotta capture this for the gram. Oh god, is he puking after killing someone? What a weakling. Now he yeah, I think he is a criminal now, I I can't guess. Oh no, things aren't looking good for Ethan. In the gun grip. <laughs> He's having a tender temper tantrum. so abruptly wait what 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 Ethan Ethan what is it let's look around in his house we'll probably find evidence that this guy was actually a serial killer or a pedophile or something and then then everything will be okay So he was kind of a bad guy. It was self-defense too. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? You can I'm see through it. her her shirt. Talk to you later. Like there's nothing there. You can see like a gap and see the background. Is she a ghost? Really? Wait, the go back? No, I don't mean in that way. Here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've done. Not a fucking coon brand way. She's like invisible. She's see through. She doesn't have a body under there. 
the kids were ugly anyways? Yeah, their names were like Cindy and Sarah or Gotta something. Gotta find some way to get them to talk about the Marble Street apartment. You have to use your feminine wiles. Be careful, Miss Tempter. Wait, why? What do you mean? Oh, God. He's wearing Hi. a tourist shirt. Uh, I was told that you could get Bitropin. Without a prescription. Bitropin? Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Wait. Uh, hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. This guy I looks like a real well, actor. You say so. Please come in. Yeah, he looks like he's from some kind of sitcom. Is he staring at her ass? Did you see that? So, you're looking for betrothed, my dear. Are oh, you having trouble sleeping? No. How much do you need? Is this another section know, where um, a girl gets kidnapped three, in a David Cage game and she's in her bra and underwear? Well, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Uh, no, I'm good. No, thanks. Drinking well, makes me pee. Take the edge off the pills, don't you think? I hate anyway, it. I scream every time I have to pee. To deal. You can avoid it if you're good? Oh, no. If I don't avoid it, can I still get out of the bad situation? Or is she fucked? You haven't reached peak cage perversion in this game yet? Are you serious? How? I haven't seen you around How here far before. are we even into the Who game? Told you about me? Uh it's a tight neighborhood. People talk. Are you gonna bring something to the potluck? I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Around halfway? Oh shit. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Oh shame. I was looking for something around. He looks Marble really Street. smart. Doesn't he? Like he's got a really big brain. Or he's like one of the aliens from Mars Attacks. You're not drinking? Uh, no. Wait, is I, that um, a double negative? Um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. Drinking gives me diarrhea. Specifically, margaritas. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. Wait, so if she does drink, does she get drugged and pass out? Oh. That guy gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too, I bro. I look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Oh! Let's look into his snack cabinets and see if he has fruit snacks. His bedroom. Might be something in his bedroom. Oh, yeah. Where's that? Shit, this is the bathroom. Is this his bedroom? It is. Okay, let's look. There must be something on this conspicuous desk. Oh! Paul, Paul. Blue Lagoon. Okay. That's a good lead. Uh, nothing else? What about something in this dresser? Uh, what about over here? In the... The horse robe. Oh shit! Oh shit! I almost called her Clara. What is? Surgical what's her name again? I thought he stopped performing operations. Oh. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. Yeah, exactly. He likes the way they feel. Oh, her name is Madison. That's right. <laughs> Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> why would he have that? It's a pretty uh, strange thing to collect. Let's we'll see what's down this hallway. Let's see. <laughs> Nosy little ferret. What? We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. <laughs> oh, no. 
Uh, can she still get out of this? Why did he turn her into a ferret? Now she's gonna be stinky. Ah. Say hello to Matthew. You can't avoid the weird pervert scene. He had come oh. to the senses. Not so it would end up like this regardless? No. Don't so scream, it's gonna make him mad. My Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco. Fuck! I can't get up! I oh. have no idea what he does there. Oh. Shit! Fuck! Maybe that's where he This is how Indica makes you feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really want to get up to get a to snack, honest, but a oh, damn, the couch. Oh, oh it feels too good. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. The chit chat. <laughs> I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity no. to practice. Please tell me someone can come help her. I don't have any There's, how the fuck is she supposed to get so out of this? I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against. Keep me. screaming. Someone will hear. Someone's gonna hear. Oh no, not the power drill! What if he just starts tickling her feet with a feather? No, 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 no! Where is he? Where is he pointing that? Where? Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move, I won't be long. She has teeth in her vagina. <laughs> she has nuts and bolts in there. Yeah. Untie. Uh. Fuck. Wait, there's a guy here. A delivery. I don't know if this one's gonna come free. Hello, sir. Scream! I've come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form No, of it's a Mormon! Which I will gladly leave with you. In return for contact. Ah, uh, shake your leg! Sh How do I shake her leg? How do I shake no, her leg? No, no, no. ah! How do I shake her leg? Why does it keep uh, the fucking QT keeps I disappearing? The word what do I of the Lord is of no interest to you. What do I do? His humble flock should walk in his What do I do? Saint John has said. Thanks a lot. This one works. I don't need anything. Okay. Not Wait. Marvel in these times of violence and hatred. So girl style cookies or something. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa. No, that's way too close to comfort. Okay, do the bridge, do the bridge motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you fucker. Is that like holding it? W S Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Hit him with the hammer! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Expert dodge. Hammer his balls. Oh fuck! No! 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 Please, someone. Woman always in peril. Because she works for a magazine. Oh shit! Is it because she's Italian? Okay, wait, wait. No, no, don't get grabbed. Why is he laughing like a stereotypical like mustache trolling villain? Please, no. He is gonna tie her up to the train tracks. No. No. You can do it, Margaret. Come on. Ugh. What the fuck even is that? No, no. Don't tickle me. No. How many fucking times? Come on. Oh, shit. No. She's... <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <gasps> she was 
Pretending! Oh, I failed it. What she's having. <laughs> she just fucking sawed him in half. That was cool. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. oh my god. Does that just happen faster if you accept the drink at the beginning? What if another customer shows up and you gotta pretend to be the doctor? Well, just uh. Put on one of the scrubs he has in his wardrobe. And shave your head. In today's episode, the writers barely disguised fetish. That's every David Cage game ever. Bro. Okay. David Cage, Hideo Kojima, and Quentin Tarantino. Team up. No. There needs to be a fourth guy. Darren Aronofsky. They all team up to make the worst video game ever made. No, Nightmare dude. blunt rotation. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. It's mad jazz. <laughs> what if he's just so uh... the question? Why was she there? Why was she there? I think she was tailing this guy. She's trying to find him. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. Mad Jack is just really into construction here, vehicles. You stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Me too, bro. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. Jackie boy? <laughs> you trying to scam me oh, with your you big Oh, you did not. Talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Okay. There's no humanly possible way this man was voiced by a black gentleman. <laughs> yeah, it was probably voiced by David Cage himself. Can you pick me up in the construction vehicle? Well, I guess he's just busy. You looked it up? Wait, who voices him? Oh, what's this? Not much chance of analyzing anything for this mod. Might stand a better chance of finding something in the garage. Hmm. Yeah, there is a lot of rain. He's voiced by John Whiteman. <laughs> David Caucasian man. <laughs> What's this? Footprints? Do they match the track found at the most likely a visitor? <gasps> the crime stand. The crime Fingerprints. Stand. Probably mad jacks. Every time two male characters get really mad at each other and get really close in a cutscene, I think they're gonna kiss each other. What the heck? What could it mean? Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. There were cars here. Has the killer's car been here? <gasps> okay, I should go to where the camera pointed me. Look at these documents. Right here, this piece of paper. 
or uh fuck D DNA D D DNA right here. <laughs> this what? big box labeled stuff that I did for here? the crime. The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. What? Isn't that where killers dispose of their bodies? That steaming thing over there? Hmm. There seems to be a large vat of acid in here. I wonder what it could have been used for. He's gonna start rubbing his I ain't nipples. Got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. He's gonna finish him off. Oh, oh, oh! Fuck him, trip. <laughs> oh, touch, sorry, touch. sorry. No dice, Inspector Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Bump you, you grass hoe. Fuck you. Oh my God. Oh <gasps> no. My Google Glasses! I need those! I can't solve crimes without them! It'll be like Awesome Powers losing his mojo! No, please! Oh, shit! Grab the gun! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, shit! Make him slip on a banana peel. And then have an anvil come out of the ceiling. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. <laughs> uh, okay. Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Bro, you were oh, gonna kill shit, me! Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Oh, okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get too Stop crazy enough. now. I'm starting to remember some things. Oh, all right. You, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. His gunshot induced so I don't amnesia. Know about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash. And I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named. Paco down at the blue lagoon Paco. the car was done. That That's was written on that thing we'll that I found in that creepy guy's house. Station. You're under arrest. You have the blue right lagoon. to remain silent. Anything. Paco. Oh, no. Shh, not now. now. Bro, this is the worst time to Anything have one of your woman can, moments. Come on. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what? No, 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 don't do it! Jaden! Jaden! <laughs> oh. Now I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five-O. He's gonna send him to rehab. Permanently. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Am I fucked? Is he actually fucked? Is this just like a long drawn out death scene of oh <laughs> Wait a minute. The horn, I can honk it really hard. And it'll sound cool. No, he's laughing evilly too. Uh idea. I gotta find some way out of here or I'll be chewed up in the goddamn crusher. Uh the goddamn crusher! Open up the glove compartment! There might be some kind of tool in there. Yeah, use your foot. He's gonna shoot the lock off. He's gonna do it. Oh shit. S Come on. Come on, please don't blow your hand off. E e Get out of there! Get the fuck out of there! What are you doing? Oh my god, he's Bro, help. Help, 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 help
this myself. Oh my god. So satisfying. Police detective gets caught in a crushing device. While suffering from drug withdrawal. Oh no. Where is he? <gasps> ah! Mad Jack at it again. Oh no, not the kicking, not the kicking and the punching. Take this. You think you bad? <laughs> I'm just imagining an old white dude in the vocal booth for this. <laughs> Uh, your character is called Mad Jack. <laughs> He's a <laughs> He's a large black gentleman. <laughs> you are a 45-year-old white guy from <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, why do they all do the evil laugh while you're running away from them? I think it's just a symptom of David Cage being extremely French and his main exposure to, like, cinema is like... Oh, it's a bad guy, so bad guy has to do evil laugh. Oh. It's camp. <laughs> no, he's gonna be slowly crushed by the machine. Take that! Take that! You can fuck your own ass! You can fuck your own ass! No, no stompies! Okay, now imagine the scene, but instead of Mad Jack, it's a dummy mommy goth... goth waifu. And... It, now it's kind of different, huh? Goodbye. Goodbye, Dami, Mommy, Goth, Waifu. Oh. If you win some, you win, lose some. Being slowly crushed is my worst fear. It would be pretty terrible. If you go head first, though, I think it'd be pretty instant, wouldn't it? The worst would be feet first. When would you die? So you think the origami killer killed like me? Like when it gets up to your chest? That Is that sense. what would do you in? Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And oh. you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Don't talk about oh, guts. One of his men. Yes. Gordy has the time Thank and the Thank you, means, Ellen Wing. Not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Whoa, Are these your whoa, files whoa, whoa. on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I build up a mountain of paperwork. I want to read the newspaper. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. The trouble <laughs> is, there's over 500 names. I gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Oh my god, well, she's no such chef, a complainer. But I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. <gasps> scrambled eggies! Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? Okay, weird for guest. you to mention that. Go in my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under yeah, the he's shower. He's stimming. He's stimming over the eggs. Do girls get horny over scrambled eggs? He mentioned it, and then the next thing she said was that she was soaking wet. Which means that her, her vagina was making, like, mucus over thinking about the scrambled eggs he was gonna make. Yeah, maybe it's, like, ovulation. Like, she started thinking about making an egg out of her own butt. I'm hungry. Make me breakfast, Mr. Shelby. How do you like your eggs? Do you like them sunny side up? Do you like them... shaken not stirred? It's 
scrambled eggs do sound pretty nice. <gasps> it's a twin egg. Wait, he didn't turn on the stove. Oh. Aren't you supposed to uh, scramble them while the heat is on? To help with like the caramelization? Yeah, this pan's supposed to be hot already when you crack the eggs onto it. Oh, is it because he's in France? You can fail at cooking the eggs? Wait, really? Oh. I think I already failed. Yeah, you gotta... If you're making scrambled eggs, you gotta just like... Consistently stir them around to get them nice and even and fluffy. Wait, Wait should he have put a milk, milk in there? Maybe she's just, she's not the type that likes milk in her her egg, milk in her cocoa puff. Those look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's like a perfectly cooked omelet. It's not really scrambled though. Is he gonna post scramble it? It's just a... a circle of eggs. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Jesus! Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. Wait, you like it? What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred. She likes place. it! According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer made He's one just of them. being uh, oh, you know, maliciously non-compliant. clients one by one. He's doing that thing that people do where if they get asked to do something, they purposely do it Except wrong so they never get asked to do it again. Check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. I lost but, but it. Wait. What? Lauren, your food's gonna get cold. Your unscrambled eggs. If the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Oh. Well, he well, has a royal typewriter uh, I mean, on his desk. That's just an assumption, but... Yeah, I suppose. Why is he getting so sweaty and anxious? Help me. We're gonna find him. Oh my god, the eggs are getting cold by the second. <laughs> she said, start like drinking whiskey and smoking a cigar. <laughs> Wait a minute, that card. By George, we've made a breakthrough. The only guy whose name was on both lists died she, when he was ten. She never ate them. What are you do now? Is you it because I didn't scramble them? Is that why? I know it doesn't make any sense. It's because I'm Italian, Unless the isn't it? Was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died thirty years ago? Because it was well, his that's kid. What we need to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. John Shepard. Like you never give Mass up, do you? Why is he being so strange? Children plot. <laughs> plot device. What is this? Jerry Hernandez. The name is John Shepard. Theodore Brown. Shirley Wright. Ralph Excuse Rivera. Me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Oh. Thanks. And they all probably look like this. Where is it? 
I'm looking at too many graves. I'm starting to look really suspicious. <gasps> what graveyard has a section just for kids? I don't know, do they do it like that in France? Zombies and break out and oh It's gotta be in this section, right? Because it says children plot. It says children plot. <laughs> Italians, they're always Take up to no easy. good. I don't mind. Hey, I'm dead over here. Roy Smith. Okay, so the children plot was where I was, I think. Italian. Wait, did she find it? I found it. Oh, no, I found it. Wait, what is she doing? John S. Shepard. Commander Shepard. These flowers are fresh. And there's an origami Looks on like it. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Hmm. He's oh, killing all didn't... the kids in the same way that, that his son died. Well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. <laughs> this guy is also voiced by John Whiteman. Yeah, go for nothing, hoodlums! Get the hell out of here! Oh no, a flashback! God, beat it! You lousy, no good brats! Wait, was it his brother? Comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's Let's go play in a rain away. puddle. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Let's go play. <clears throat> Bet you can't catch me. No, you're gonna slip and fall. Yeah, let's go tragically die in the rain. I mean, it's pretty convincing voice acting performance. What the fuck was that? W, W child. The teacher resigned. And it turned out that boy was Albert Einstein. Oh my god, I just remembered the, the like one second long story I was trying to tell like an hour ago and I completely forgot because there was a cutscene. I'm so fucking sorry. It's not even worth it. I was just gonna talk about something I saw on Reddit. Do you, do you really want like secondhand Reddit exposure? I don't even know. It was just a post of someone that was like, "Oh, I went to go talk to my favorite childhood teacher, who I was like really close to in school, like 20 years later, and they said that they didn't want to talk to past students, and I was heartbroken about it. I just felt betrayed." I don't know if I was a teacher. <laughs> I 
I guess I kind of get it. I think the teacher was dead. with their teacher and like go out for dinner or something if it was like they were still working at the school that they went to and they just like dropped by to be like oh hey you were my teacher in the uh, sixth grade i don't understand that but they were like my teacher from 20 years ago didn't want to meet up and have dinner with me heavy rain is a certified hood classic bro it is David Cage just makes pure, unfiltered canography. Oh yeah? Uh, if I can't make this jump, I'm gay! Yeah. If would you go to dinner with an old teacher? Did any of you ever have... And I don't mean crush in the traditional sense, where it's like Gee, a romantic feeling. Or like lust or whatever. Do you ever have like a kind of crush on the teacher where it's like a familial crush? Like you fantasize about them adopting you into their family and just like living with them? What you doing? You're coming or not? <laughs> Why are you saying what the fuck? I, I said it's not like a ro <laughs> The music is not doing me any favor. <laughs> Yeah, like, admiration. I guess admiration is the better word. <laughs> no, I'm not... I'm, okay, crush was the wrong word. It's like... You have a really nice teacher who's kind of like the teacher from Matilda. And you just think like, man, I wish this teacher would adopt me. You, that's what I meant. I don't mean in like a weird fucking way. Stop being cool brained. I'm, I'm literally talking about like when you're a kid and you really like having a, a certain teacher. That's still fucked up. Being like eight years old and thinking like, oh, it'd be cool if this teacher was my mom. You said crush? Well, I didn't mean it. I, I literally prefaced it by saying not like a traditional crush, like a di there's like different forms of love, like familial love, like the love that you would have for a friend. Don't make it- bro, do not make it weird. I'm literally just saying if there's like a teacher that was like- made like a really big impact on your life and was like really sweet, and you- would you ever think like, bro, what if they adopted me? Yeah, like platonically, platonically. No, not fucking... I'm not talking about weird incest shit. Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's like... Having a teacher... Like the teacher from Matilda... Who's like super nice... And you're like... Bro, what if they became my new mom and dad? You've never had that happen? Average Michigan school moment? No, that's weird. <laughs> the fucking breathing is so... <laughs> Why is he whistling like that? Come on, loser. <laughs> yeah, it's like fantasizing about having telekinetic pro powers and getting adopted by your favorite teacher. Is that so weird? phrase it would be if a figure seen as a mentor was a parent instead. Yes! Yes. That's what I meant! Like, someone who's like a really nice mentor figure, like a parental figure to you, and you're like, Bro, it'd be so cool if they adopted me, and I got to live with them. At their Move house. And I could stay up until midnight, and eat pizza rolls whenever I want. Bro. You guys need to do like a brain cleanse, I swear to god. You guys are cooked in the head. 
What does that mean? L... L underscore? What? What is this QTE? L? Left... Oh, it's left... <laughs> I forgot that was a, a button on the keyboard. You can do homework forever and ever? No, not like that. They'd be like Mrs. Honey and Matilda. You've never you seen Matilda? The guy who does all the minority character voices. <laughs> you can't say it won't be interesting. That guy to be your new dad. Listen, okay, listen. We're not the ones talking about having a crush on our pseudo parent teacher. Please, bro, do not twist my words like that and make it weird. I'm okay. This is like genuine, genuine, bro. I didn't mean like crush as in like a romantic crush. Like a, you know how they say like, oh, I have such a girl crush on her as like, I I admire this person a lot and I look up to them. Like the fucking teacher in Matilda who's really nice. Oh my god. S stop. You guys seriously need like... A fucking detox. We need a brain detox. <laughs> you need to listen to this strange child make whistling noises while he runs around in a circle. What? Why are you so... Oh! Am I being trolled? Am I being trolled by my own Twitch chat? Hoisted by my own Peter Griffin? You're telling me you never had a teacher that you like looked up to and admired as like a mentor? Never once? And wanted to live with them when you were a kid. I keep hoping when one you were like a kid. Will okay. Adopt me. I keep praying they'll come back <laughs> to the adoption center and pick me. <laughs> Niners, where are you? I'm a good boy, aren't I? You've Go never imagined up. you were a dog in a dog shelter, thinking like the perfect family is gonna walk by you and finally adopt you and bring you into a beautiful, wholesome home. What is this pen message? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you've never been like six years old watching like a TV show with Superman or whatever the fuck in it and thinking like, bro, I wish Superman was my dad. Not even that? I'm going to give this child an asthma attack. Look what you made me do. The construction site is empty. Makes for a great Nine. playground. I think he the turned issue here Irish. is that many of us had positive relationships with our parents, so we never wanted or fantasized about being adopted by someone else. <laughs> is it really that weird to think about being adopted? <laughs> Wait, so you've never even had like the thought like, bro, what if I am adopted and my real family is like, Wizards. Never waits for me. What if my real family is a bunch of mermaids living in Atlantis? I don't know where to go. You wanted to replace your parents at six years old. When I was six years old, nine slash eleven happened. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> shit, Nine. I wasn't even raised by my parents and I never had that fantasy. Using the word fantasy is a bit of a stretch. 
I should have used the word like... I don't know... Like a daydream? Fantasy has strange connotations. Are we getting a dog sibling soon? Or a Bradley sibling? I hope so. I found a dog today and John, I'm scared to me. get too emotionally get invested in it. Dog. Use better word? I'm sorry, I would have been... <laughs> it's hard to talk today. If I really want to be adopted by anyone, it would be from Augustus Caesar and live out the golden age of the Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now imagine Augustus Caesar let you stay up until 2 a.m. and did your homework for you and let you ate, eat chocolate cake every day for dinner. You're a turd! Are you worried your dog is gonna have a platonic crush on someone else that wish adopted them? Move your ass! I'm waiting! <laughs> Any dog that is unfortunately adopted by me will probably wish they were adopted by someone else. Especially when I start doing my... <laughs> my, my monkey activities at night. I like to LARP as a monkey and swing around and... <laughs> I like to tie some ropes to the ceiling and just swing to and fro from them while making monkey noises. I have to do it for two hours every day. And trust me, the dog will not get rest during those, those wee hours of the night. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> oh shit, now I just look like a fool. He's gonna make fun of me and give me a rope burn. I never loved a teacher cool enough to where I'd want them to be my parent. But see, I maybe that's your problem. Cool my eighth grade history teacher was my neighbor, if that counts. Yeah, see, like something like that. Okay. Like, not everything One, has to be a weird, two, like, three, sex thing. Four, you know? Five, you know? Six, Naya Tasha, I am eight, so shocked. Oh, fuck, you I skipped the number. Ten, a kindergarten teacher. Eleven. I am so ashamed of you. Twelve. No more sugar for 13, you after dinner. <laughs> Time to 14, eat your vegetables. Fifteen. Sixteen. But I like vegetables. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. I didn't. I did not make it a sex thing. I literally said it's not a like a, in a weird way. I doubt most of chat actually thinks that and are just trolling for content. I don't know what's real anymore. I don't even know how much time I have left to live. I woke up today feeling like my brain was actually going to detach from my body. Help! John! My foot. My foot is stuck. No, how the fuck did you do that? Shit instead of crap. You're not gonna get grounded for it. I'll get help. Just turn. Go on, hurry. He is fucking drowning. I'm hurrying. I'll be right. But 
the poor kid never did find any help. <laughs> what did it? And his brother drowned. <laughs> what did it just cost like ring. that? <laughs> the boy that lived. What happened to him? Well, oh no. All I know is he got separated from his parents. He got adopted by his I, I sixth think grade he got teacher. Adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. I have a confession to make, guys. The reason why I talked about that. Christ, what a horrible story. Was. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding it's his me. brother's hand. I'm the or origami killer. Do you think he. he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. I'm the remember member. I'm the oregano killer. He had drowned syndrome? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the reason why I wanted to play this game is because I just wanted to relive all those moments where I killed all those people. I wasn't adopted Wait, by my teacher. What's the matter? That man over there. I have yeah. I think I have trauma now. Next time I like talk about any kind of like oh have you guys ever uh, done this like mundane thing when you were a child? I feel like everyone's gonna fucking gaslight me. He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. Is that him? familial love are you telling me you don't love your family or you don't love someone in a familial way there's this this literally goes back to ancient greece there's different types of love love isn't always like a lustful weird thing you guys need to love yourselves we need to love each other There is literally a thing called familial love. He's the guy who rented the docks Are you gaslighting me to think that loving your family is like it doesn't exist in this world? Love is a burning thing and it makes a fiery ring. <laughs> no, that's what getting too much red sauce in my Chipotle quesadilla does. Love is beta male soy behavior. <laughs> what? You, you love your, your siblings? Gay. Gay porn. Gay porn. In this world, things are either gay or they are porn. This club... This club is gay porn. This guy dancing... He's porn. This club reminds me of something that like like naked people do to reproduce. This music kind of reminds me of like the act of somebody jacking off their wiener. What is this table? Yeah, just play it cool. Just wait. Just blend in. Okay, now leave. Is there no dancing QTE? What if she gets into a dance battle? Everybody here is so well dressed and she just kind of looks like a secretary. I'm getting kind of self-conscious. Oh no, look, that lady has like a going out top on. And the jeans with the red high heels. Oh my god, it's over for Madison. Look at this girl, she probably got this from the wet seal. Damn it. They're wearing strapless tube dresses. This is so fucked. Do I go to the club? I've never been to a club outside of anime conventions. And outside of anime club. 
we'll keep it or not. Oh shit. I thought that guy was the uh, Yakuza guy. Fuck. This is the, the Blue Lagoon. Should I ask around for someone by the name of Paco? Oh shit, excuse me, sorry. Excuse me. Oh, uh, sorry, uh... I need, I'm looking for my friend in the bathroom. Oh, maybe I should get a drink. Paco. I'm looking for Paco. Paco Mendez? What? Spot? Paco Mendez. Do you know him? What? He's the boss. He's over there in the VIP lounge. <gasps> That's him. Okay. Thanks. He looks like he smells. The bartender says Paco's in the VIP lounge. Okay, how am I gonna get in there? Why just keep your head held high? It's abnormal. Oh, this guy doing coke over here? Jesus! PDA? A section reserved for select guests. Shouldn't be too hard to find? Yeah, it's gotta be somewhere in here, somewhere really close by. Like right here. Oh shit, he's got bouncers everywhere. I gotta speak to Paco! That's not possible. Mr. Mendez is asked not to be disturbed. He doesn't talk. He's a VR chat mute. Shit. Sorry, lady. Invited guests only. How do I become an invited guest? What if I talk to these ladies over here? Wait, is he getting me in? Wait, what if she has to do a dance? And prove... Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. Pet goon. Gonna have to think of something else. Are you ready to get caged again? Yes. They call him David Cage because his works. They make people feel as if their minds are in a cage. Four like walls, no way out. But they can see through the bars. They see inside and outside. Okay, what if I push one of these girls down the stairs, like in Showgirls, and steal their outfit? We have to go back to Paco. Where is he? Paco seems to like sexy girls. Paco seems like a guy. Yeah, strut your stuff. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to. Oh god, I hate crowds. Oh shit. I gotta find some place to change. Some place to change, huh? Maybe a bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom. Excuse me, where's the bathroom? Is that the bathroom over there? Are you a bathroom? Look at this guy dancing. Holy. Wait, why does she have to go to the bathroom? Why can't she just dance in this outfit? Is it not sexy enough? Here they are. This is the girl's room. Oh shit, I hope there's not a line. Whoa, 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 one more time. Holy fuck, I had a fucking... I had a piano, like an electric piano when I was little that had a button that would do that same fucking vocal thing. And you could click a button and it go, Dictionary, Dictionary, d -d 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 Dictionary. Well, one more time. What, 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 what? Okay, sh what's she gonna do to sexify herself? Time to play the sexy girl. <laughs> I play sexy girl! Okay, mess up your hair. She doesn't have any glasses to take off. Yeah, that's... <laughs> she... Whoa, her hair looks so different and so sexy now. 
Does he have any makeup? Get ready with me. Oh, yeah. Uh, what the fuck is she doing? Uh, why is she putting that so close to her eyeball? Sexy girls like to poke themselves in the eye. Makes them look kind of teary-eyed and doe-eyed. Are you ready for this? Okay, yeah, on button. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Wait, what, what other makeup we got? Oh, can't go wrong with some lipstick. Wow, she really looks like a streetwalker now. God, look at it. She's just caking her face in that crap. <laughs> now I have to put on one of those jelly bands on my arm. The different colors stand for different... Oh, sex acts. A gun? Okay, now I have to blind myself. Wait, what? Is she ripping her... Mouse cord is hitting my water bottle. <laughs> so so bad. <laughs> yeah, just gonna reveal two more inches of my legs. Damn, guys, this is she's dressing way too sexy. She looks like a hussy now. What the fuck? She might as well be a prostitute. Her hair is so messy looking and horish. Okay, right here, right? This is a good vantage point. Oh no, there's gonna be a QTE for the dances in there. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Oh, he's he's taking notice of her moves. Can't dance too good, you might intimidate him. He might start getting jealous of how good you are of a dancer. Wait a minute. The hem on her skirt looks really messy and stringy. Kind of looks like shit. Ugh. Those high heels. Did she get those from fucking JC Penny? She's dressed like an old lady. Mmm, 4 out of 10. There's a little too much sharpness in her knees, I think. Oh, me? Are you talking to me? She has to act kind of disaffected. Oh my god, the VIP room. Okay, who voices my this guy? <laughs> Are you? Oh no, cringe. <laughs> <laughs> He's the money guy. <laughs> Maybe we can continue this conversation oh, somewhere no. more private. He's soy facing. Oh, sure, baby. Yeah, but I guess in his me. case, it's like saying I facing. Because soy means I. Shit, where, where is it going? I completely lost track of him, even though he's wearing a completely conspicuous outfit. Fuck. Oh no, now I'm gonna look like a dumbass. But wait, maybe that'll uh, seduce him more. Oh, he's going up the stairs. Okay, okay. He's camouflaged. He's wearing like animal prints, and everyone in here, it's like a safari. Just blends right in. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's surfing now. Come on a safari with me. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, give me. No, oh, jeez. She has perfect posture. Like she never slouches. Uh, yeah. I can go in here now. Bet you feel dumb now, huh? She's not gonna have to... Uh... I go in. I make 
make him talk to the gun. Then I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Okay. Are you gonna do like a gonna puppet show right. with the gun? Everything is going to be alright. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. What's her idol pose when you just stand in place? Wait. No, I want I want her to face the camera. Fuck you, David Cage. I just want to see her do the sassy hand on hip Karen pose. Okay, now she's doing the shy anime protagonist. Okay. Now what? Guy Ritchie is a lucky guy who got to marry this beautiful woman. Wait, is she like a real actress? Are they all real actors that are scanned into the game? I don't know they started doing that so early in... Oh fuck, I accidentally left. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> a lot are scanned and real. You guys are scanned and real. You guys are a fucking so, scanner darkly. Welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> oh, he really likes animals. He likes zebras. Oh no, not the. Oh, he put on porn music. Ew, he was like a, a picture of a fucking geisha. Oh, so, ew, ew, ew. Show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off, baby. What if he means like his clothes because he wants to be put into his pajamas and tucked in? Uh, 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 could, could I have a drink? <laughs> a little drink. To break the ice, <laughs> bro. She doesn't look like, different at all. <laughs> She's... Let's get wet. She just messed up her hair a little bit and put on lipstick. Uh, <laughs> could, could we just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need any more talking, baby. We live on the place settlers of Catan. Show me what you can do. Uh, leave. I'm sorry. Um, uh, yeah, this is kind of awkward. A misunderstanding. <laughs> look, look. Uh, I, I'll, I'll just go. I just thought no, you I'm really down. liked animals, and I like animals Another too. Time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. No, no, no. We have a gun too. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never. <laughs> and I never. What does she? What does he want her to do? What does she have to take off? His socks? What the fuck? Just like... <laughs> <laughs> Think of something. There's gotta be some way out of here. You gotta get your purse, bro. Do what it takes, Mad. Play for time. Yeah, distract them. Make little farting time. <laughs> I hate this fucking music. Uh, I could call for help. No, no, That's no. Stupid. With this music, who's gonna hear me? I'll puke if he so much as touches me. <laughs> Mouthing at her. I'm my 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 my. I'm my 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 my. The lamp. The lamp. If only I could find some. You hit him with the lamp and then you go over your bag. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm just gonna make a oopsie poopsie with my little butt. I'm gonna stick out my gat. It would be a shame if it knocked over this lamp over here and the music awkwardly ended and it was really eerily silent. <laughs> No, she's making fucking Minecraft skeleton noises. You got it going on down below. 
That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> okay, act two. Oh, Let's fuck. Let's lover boy sing. She's gonna torture him with a car battery. This is feminism. Slap him. Slap the other cheek, too. Oh, oh Thanks for the fuck. assist, Neon. <laughs> Thank you, Lamp. You really saved the day. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Yeah, now you have to shake your what ass. You, want? you rent an apartment on Marble Street. What the f I want to know why. An apartment? You don't, don't you didn't see anything on the about. on the photos. Mr. Oh. Whipham! You fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! You're not the one who has a gun. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're gonna know, boss, when I gush up with you. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Boss? Is everything all right? <gasps> oh! You to talk. Oh no! No! She's actually like twisting his dick off. What you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. What's that, Bunny? How about some more? Eat the crust off. Give the keys to some guy. That's how he needed a place. Stop doing the racist accent. What was that guy's name? Fuck! Oh shit! Now I have to do that all over again. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Oh! oh. oh. Jesus. Uh, Shepherd. John Shepard. His name is John Shepard. That's all I know. I swear it. Ugh. He does look there, like Louis C.K. That C. wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment. But I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. No, she should have killed him. He's gonna chase after her. No. No, this is not a girl boss moment. If Kojima did this scene, it would be funny cringe, not cringe cringe. I think it's so cringe cringe that it loops back around to being funny cringe. Time to put on my high heels and just slay. Get out of here. Oh that no. He thought they were doing stuff in there. Yeah, I can't wait for the next David Cage game. He didn't retire, did he? It has been a long time since Detroit Become Human came out, so he's gotta have something in the works, right? Right? He's gotta! He's making Star Wars? Wait, really? He's making a Star Wars game? I mean, Star Wars games are cool, but... When I want to appreciate David Cage's true genius... I don't think he should be restrained by making something under an existing property like that. He needs to have full creative control and make something from scratch and not an existing IP. Otherwise, it's just gonna be kind of soulless. What, 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 what? One more time. He's making a Star Wars game so that all the accents will make sense. <laughs> True, at least that part would be nice. I don't trust anyone to write like George Lucas as much as I trust David Cage. <laughs> That's actually a good point. Okay. Maybe David Cage's Star Wars could be canography. Oh, oh. Remember when she was holding him at gunpoint and going, oh, 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 oh.
<laughs> oh shit, now he's he's gonna discover the guy tied up in a chair. I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Mine. Are you absolutely certain? Rut bro. He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. He's probably still suffering from testicular torsion. Wait, who's in there? Crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment. Wait, is it Shepard? I don't know what you're doing. David Cage really said press. Trying to silence the witness. The writer just barely disguised the fetish once to draw attention. CPT is a very French thing, if you think about it. Hello, you get me out of prison. Shit, no, go up the stairs, go up! Uh. Everything you ask. I think my debt to you is paid. <laughs> Are you good? Are you good? Don't fuck around, man. No. Are you on a roller coaster? No, Why are you well, screaming? Now, if you want to see another of the full creativity no, no, of David Cage game, may recommend you Omicron. Omicron? Wait, what's prophecy. Omicron? I played Indigo Prophecy, but I didn't know there was another one aside from the really bad one in Detroit Become Human. Wait, that's his very. I thought Indigo Prophecy was his first game. What is Omicron for? It's garbage. Oh, is it like. Old, old. It has David Bowie. Oh, I think I'm too late. Grab the samurai sword. You're gonna want to grab the samurai <laughs> sword. Oh no, we're too late. No. He's been shot. Point blank in the head. It's time to put on my Google Glass. What if you can see like a it's like a black light? And he's just got semen's all over him. Oh! What the fuck? Is this that's his killer? It's Mr. Shepard. You dirty dweeb! Nasty man! I really hope he pulls the samurai sword off the- Oh, yes! Yes! Now he has to use the dead body as a shield. Or that! Oh, shit! Oh, no! Do you know how much those things cost? Oh, oh, oh! Cinema sin! Ding! The... Strange... Disguised man in the top hat isn't giving a lap dance. Ding! All the fish are gonna die now. Ding! Detroit was the worst David Cage game by far. It's like the worst, best one, actually. It doesn't get nearly as crazy as Indigo Prophecy. That one definitely wins on that front. Oh shit. R1. R R1. 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 Ooh. 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 Oh. Troy Become Human just has the best, stupidest story. Best gameplay by far. Best branching narrative. And it just like. It's so stupid. It's like the most stupid one. It's not the craziest story by far. It's actually pretty... I don't know, the stuff that happens isn't that crazy. It's a pretty mundane story compared to the other games, especially this one. But just the, the general atmosphere is just stupid as fuck. David Cage also really likes broken aquariums with fish all over the floor. His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Hmm, I see. Anyways, I got attacked and I'm a thigh. 
but that's all right. Madison Page. What was the journalist doing here? Oh, the connection. Madison. Beyond Two Souls is pretty stupid. I haven't played that one. All I know is that David Cage did the creepiest shit in the creation of it. Like the actors were actually upset. It does sound like a train wreck. Madison? What's she doing here? What is this? Orchid pheromones. Oh. The fucking origami killer. It was him. A bullet, right between the eyes. Instant death. Man, I wish he wasn't dead. He deserves to go to jail and rot. What this weapon? Oh, fuck. No, 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 don't take them. Uh, put them back on. Uh, you don't want to put those back on. E. Or R1. The gun. How do I inspect? Which one was mine? Okay, so to look at gun, I go like this. A 45 caliber semi automatic. Did I just hear a cut? Yeah, that was from my belly, sorry. I kind of struggle around in there. I'm getting pretty hungry. They modeled Elliot Page's full new body, nude body without consent. Yeah, that's essentially what happened. It was pretty fucked 45 up. 45 caliber. Like, there was a whole thing about it where Elliot Page was saying like, yeah, like... Didn't consent to Paco this at Mendes all. No they saint. fully His scanned my body like and put it in the book. game. It didn't even need to be in the game. Yeah, and tried to sue over it too. It's pretty fucked. Wait, shit. No, don't take him off. I need to investigate more. If you sign on to do a game and do mocap stuff and they just like fully render your nude body, oh fuck, without even asking. Just to do weird French shit with it. They were something about Hime verbally abusing his employees. I'm sorry, I know you meant to type him, but I read that as Hime. I just imagined Hime from V Shoujo, like, like getting a fucking. <laughs> like a Jeff Bezos situation. That's why she, she hasn't really been streaming that often. She's too busy yelling at everybody. Really, really a villain. Really a sick motherfucker. Ew, why does that sound so wet and sloshy? Okay. Paco. That's his fingerprint. Why did the audio just cut out? Am I really just done forever? Do I need to scan over by the couch? The lamp! There's signs of a struggle. Yeah, that sick bastard did soundproof the room. Oh no, everybody's gone now, the party's over. This thing right here. What is this? Madison Page? She may be a witness. I think she might be a lamp. Her soul got trapped inside of it. Yeah, 
Okay, I think we got all the Madison Page DNA. And that origami killer guy was wearing gloves and shit, so... Well, guess we're sitting out of luck. I feel like there would be love stains all over that room. <laughs> that is the worst term for that I have ever heard. Love stain. Gotta do laundry, I got love stains all over my sock. Why did he own a table that spelled hard? Wouldn't you if you were a multi-millionaire who owned a club? And did drug deals? It's cause he's hard! The bodyguard. He must have seen the I doubt it. I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. Oh, jeez, Norman. I've gotta go. I need to think of it. Tripto. It's okay, Norman. Fight off the urges. Did Paco know the guy came to see him? Sorry, I don't speak cop. Oh, come on. A man is dead. Oh shit! Smiling, asshole, I got no time to translate. He picked him up like a puppy from the scruff yes of the neck. Or no. Uh, mommy. He said his name was John. My mommy and my daddy. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. Doesn't it look like they're gonna kiss? I don't. I can't tell if it's David Cage or just me. Looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. No, it's not a dead end. We have to find Madison. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. On the right track, do you think? We're getting closer. The trail, it's still hot. We must follow it. Paco knew the killer. That's why he was killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew. He knew Mr. Shepard. I want to go home. My feet hurt. The music's too loud. That is so cool. Is this what it feels like to leave the club? You just like walk with the camera the facing you? Like Slow you walking? <laughs> it's a form of love, okay? Not the kind of love that produces stains. The kind of love that you would feel for like... I don't know. Someone you can rely on. A a brother. Your brother in arms, like a soldier loves another soldier while they're in the trenches together. Or like... A butterfly loves a flower. Like a bird loves the sky. The way you love eating your favorite food. Two men sharing each other's strengths. Carrying each other's Ethan. burdens. Are you alright? Ethan, what's wrong? Are you just tired? Are you mad at me? I killed a man. Oh, ick. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. I had no choice. That moment when he admits to killing someone, but he's no like choice. crying about it, that just gives me a major ick. You're not the Oregon Ugh. killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. How do you know that, Martha? I can prove it. When did she take off her lipstick? That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. Yeah. Did he say shaving Sean? What? No. Think about your dead son. No, no. What if, like, during this, he's just thinking about all the happy memories he had with his son? Like, playing fetch in the backyard? Is this a kissing QTE? Oh! What if their b braces get stuck together? What the fuck? Okay, I 
have to move the controller clockwise to rotate their tongues into one another. And now, I have to press Q repeatedly to unzip her bobs. And, and she's gonna pull up his shirt and he's gonna have <laughs> an umbilical cord taped to his belly button. <laughs> What the fuck? He's wearing armor, like from Greece. <laughs> Pretend you're watching this in the room with your parents. I feel like that really heightens any kind of scene like this. Just imagining you're awkwardly sitting on the couch next to your mom and your dad. And imagining that you're being adopted by your teacher. <laughs> Imagine you're sitting on the couch with your mom and your dad and your 6th grade English teacher named Mrs. Honey. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna fail the sex QTE. <laughs> uh, guys, this is going on for a little too long. I'm genuinely getting uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. I have to rotate the joystick clockwise so she can tweak his nipples. Sean! <laughs> Sean! What if <laughs> I, I need to have sex with this woman for you, Sean? All for you. Oh my god. You need a new mommy. Ag. Ag. No, he has to stay. He has to stay for at least like five minutes. What if he accidentally called out the name of his dead son during uh, coitus? Jason! I mean, uh, Madison. Madison. Uh, they both end in son. So, uh, sorry. Wait, he's still missing a finger. Would this scene have played out differently if he wasn't? Bro, yeah, like... He saw live footage of his son slowly drowning to death. How could you get it up in this situation? I don't get it. Okay, he's gonna go tickle her feet now. Yeah, he just killed a guy. He just shot a guy in the head and threw up all over the floor. He crawled through a tunnel filled with broken glass. He saw a video of his son chin deep in rainwater calling for help. How do you get intimate with someone with those images flashing through your mind? His son is dying of hyperthermia from the origami killer. Okay, now he has to piss really loudly. Oh shit. Is his back hurting? <laughs> Does he have to wake her up? Okay, he's just uh, looking at her, I guess. Uh, make some, uh, coffee! Wait, 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 what? What is this? Is this the refrigerator? Let's see what it- Oh, he has nothing. That is Divorced Dad Classic. Oh, I gotta get some fresh air after nutting inside a random woman while my son is dying. Just kind of thinking about life. Is he just gonna leave in his underwear? It's my birthday as of eight minutes ago. What? Unfortunately, we're the same age now. Aware. Unfortunately, no. Being thirty is great. Oh shit! I can't. I can't walk around outside in my underwear and my cool mummy armor. Happy birthday, Valeno. You're gonna love being thirty. It's gonna be awesome. 
We're not gonna feel old and disheveled and disgusting or anything. No, it's actually gonna be fun as fuck. Now you're old and distinguished and you can do whatever the fuck you want. Nobody's gonna look at you and like treat you different because you're too young. They're gonna respect you. You're gonna be like a wise old wizard. You're gonna command I've a room. I've already wasted too much time. I've got to get through this last trial. But what about... Things might have worked out between us. If circumstances had been different. She's still asleep. No goodbyes. No explanations. What, really? I'll just leave before she wakes up. She's the only person I can trust. But now I have to be alone to do what do I have to really? do. Do you really? Does he actually? She did way more work than he did in solving where the fuck his son is. He should have just, like, found her earlier. He wouldn't have had to chop off his finger. She literally did, like, a weird strip dance for a random club guy. And found everything. He's just covering his bases in case he has to make a replacement, Sean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. What is this notepad? Round. I should have guessed. All this time and I had no idea. Does he think she is a cop? Ethan, what's the matter? Or he thinks she's I just making a you. fucking Listen, I magazine report on it. You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist. <gasps> I forgot she lied Even about being a nurse. I, I wanted to tell you, but oh, what kind no. of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Oh, Maybe you'll no. get a book deal. I hope it was Bro. fucking worth it. He is jumping Ethan, to so many conclusions. I... Ethan, no. You Don't touch lied my shoulder, to me, Madison. All this time you fucking lied to me. I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book. <laughs> It would have been a bestseller, Ethan. Think of the royalty checks. It's true. I'm a journalist. Ew. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... And I wanted to cover the story. That's why she was following But then him. I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but well, I couldn't. why don't you marry him then? I was afraid that you... That you... May not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want... Is for you to find your son alive. <laughs> Standing there with his finger missing. And when missing. it's all over, I want to be with you. Forgive her. You need to make Sean, too. I'm sorry, Ethan. Let's face it, we're not going to be able to save him in time. I'm so sorry. You're leaving. Aren't you? I have to do this. It's my duty. It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. Ethan, you can I do can't it. Lose you now. Please don't die, Ethan. Nine, thank you for streaming today. It helped me out of a sever bout of depression. Oh, Sam, sorry. I hope you're feeling better. Thank you. Sometimes you have a, a crappy day, day, but you never know. Wait for me. I'll, I'll Just the smallest thing minutes. can turn it around. So never give up on a day. Even if it's, if it's something small, like getting your favorite bag of chips. Or, uh, looking out the window and seeing a dog that you like. It's all good. We're all gonna make it in 2024. This is the year! Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah, I'm a chip seller. Uh, I'm not talking about French fries. 
Sometimes your son is kidnapped and tortured, but you get to nut in your new wife. Oh, David Kiss is so classic. Now we gotta find his son. Wow, I'm so and in love I with this I guy who's eternally tortured by the death of his first son and also I now by the disappearance of his second I son. I'm starting to fall in love. I think this is a good. Uh, pausing the game point. Also, for this guy to scream. My lit sexy money journalist beat to save you, Sean. Oh, This is for you, Sean. This is for you. to please this woman, but I had to. What? Yeah, his dick and balls got shredded up by all that growth broken glass. I almost said broken glass. <laughs> Sean! Sean! I'm making another Sean! No! <laughs> She's just kicking rocks. Okay, before I go, I just want to show you guys. I wonder if the music will still play if I'm tabbed out. What do? It do? It really do. It really, really do. Okay, I found this dog. Let me make sure nothing bad is showing. Yes. I'm scared to even get too emotionally invested in this dog. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, please don't track my location and show where I live. Please. Look at this dog. Look at this fucking dog. Hold on, I'll put up on screen in a second. Okay, yeah. This dog right here. His name is Cream. Look at him. I don't even know what kind of dog this is. He looks like a... Like a Star Wars creature. That's so cute, isn't it? I think he was like almost a year old. So he's still kind of a puppy. Look at his ears. They're like floppy. I feel like I should put in an application. I don't know. And he was rescued... From the, the dog meat trade. Apparently. He looks like a sweetheart, though. I don't really know. It just says mixed breed. It looks like he could be, like, partially German Shepherd. He does look like he's got some Shepherd in him. But yeah, if I can't adopt him, then one of you definitely has to, if you live in L.A. Because he, he's located in the L.A. area. Oh, <laughs> he just looks so sweet. Look at him! Look at him! He looks like a good boy! Oh, And he likes belly bumps! I'll try, I'll try. I need to talk to Ethel about it. I've been so... Like, every single day, I've been a complete crazy person about opening up Pet Finder and searching. The first thing I do almost every day is opening up Pet Finder and searching or adoptapet.com. And then I send dogs to Ethel and we get like a vibe check on them. One of these days. One of these days. We'll find, we'll find the right dog. Maybe this one might be the right dog. We'll see. Maybe I can send in an application. We can go meet them or something. Yeah, we gotta vet them. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you and chat are just as insane as usual. <laughs> it feels good to be back. Thank you. Yeah, I guess chat reflects the streamer. We just have a combined miasma of chaos. <laughs> Things might get a little bit different and a little bit off kilter if you come in here. Honestly, all of you guys are... You're, you're on something tonight. I don't know if it's the New Year's spirit or what, but you guys are on something. You guys are going crazy. You're going way too crazy. You guys are on your tomfoolery. Is it the rain? Is it gonna make you act... act a fool? 
Is it because of the changes in the atmosphere that just kind of like uh, upsets some kind of balance in your brain chemistry? The, the droning rain noises do seem like they're causing some kind of psychological effect. What is it? I don't know. I will say, I do still feel pretty dizzy. And not mean to stream this long at all. But thanks for tuning in for another episode of David Cage French Cinematic Gaming Masterpieces. And it looks like next stream might be the end of Heavy Rain. It seems like it's kind of gearing up for a climactic finish. Will we discover the identity of the Orgagami killer? Will I be able to say one coherent sentence without stuttering or mixing up my words? Or forgetting what I was saying mid-sentence and trailing off and sounding like I actually have dementia? Will I wake up tomorrow feeling normal? Let's see. All I know is... Thanks for watching my stream. I'm very thankful for all of your support. And I'm gonna go pass out on the couch and watch a movie. I encourage you all to do the same.